Chapter 3141 Blood Match Long Chen's pupils instantly turned black. The next moment, a black saber even longer than him appeared in his hand. Just then, Ku Wuaya's hand touched Bei Shishi. However, a golden rune suddenly lit up on her forehead, blazing like a sun. As for Ku Wuaya, he felt like a meteor had struck him, and he was sent flying. A seal. Ku Wuaya's expression completely changed. When that golden rune appeared, a sacred pressure enveloped this world. The instant that rune appeared, Bei Shishi was teleported out of the martial stage. He returned to the spectator stands, unconscious. Her seal has finally been undone up in the outer spectator stand. Bei Shishi's mother sighed with relief. When they had first placed a seal in Bei Shishi's body, they hadn't expected a certain thing. Due to the existence of the outer seal, Bei Shishi's most primeval bloodline power began to fall into a slumber and formed its own seal. It was only when Bei Shishi's mother undid the outer seal that she noticed this problem. Despite doing her best, she was unable to stimulate that slumbering power. However, she also didn't dare to speak of it to Bei Shishi. After all, Bei Shishi had to face this battle. If she mentioned it to Bei Shishi, then with her character, if she lost, she would hate them to death. This deepest part of her bloodline needed to be awakened by herself. It would only awaken when she urgently needed it or was on the verge of death. Other than a seal, Bei Shishi's body also had a protective talisman. Bei Shishi herself was unaware of this, but when her mother had noticed that deeper seal, she had secretly added this protective talisman. She naturally wouldn't allow her own daughter to die on the martial stage. This backup plan was then activated when Ku Wuaya dared to blaspheme her daughter, sending her out. Just as the protective talisman activated, her slumbering bloodline power was awakened. Although she had lost, this awakening made it all worth it. With Bei Shishi sent out, the martial stage returned to its original appearance. As for the barrier, even as Long Chen pointed his saber at it, the eye-like rune vanished with the end of the battle. Seeing Long Chen standing in front of the barrier like that, countless people felt him to be foolish for sending himself to his death, but they were even more shocked. Countless young maidens in particular grew infatuated with him. If someone was willing to risk their life like this for them, then they would also be willing to use their lives to protect that person. Regretfully, such a thing only existed in stories. People were all selfish. Who would send themselves to their deaths for others? However, Long Chen had done so twice, once for Dai Wu and once for Bei Shishi. Ignoring the rules of the martial stage, he had been going to charge through to save them. That foolishness truly made their hearts ache. Dai Wu had no relationship with Long Chen. Yet, just because of a single conversation, he was willing to throw his life away for her. Was there someone more foolish than him in this world? But this foolishness touched countless hearts. Ku Wuaya was also sent out of the martial stage, and he sighed regretfully inside. Just a bit more, and he would have baited Long Chen into being destroyed by the formation. Once he was dead, Ku Wuaya could focus entirely on his battle with Ji Yuai Yun. All you can do is acting. If you really had guts, you would have charged in sooner instead of going so slow. Are you just acting for others to see? Sneered Ku Wuaya. The spectators were enraged. Ku Wuaya's mouth was just as twisted and malicious as the rest of his body. However, no one dared to say anything. The corpse devil sect's people were all cruel and merciless. They were all afraid of their reprisal. So they swallowed their anger. Long Chen didn't reply. He only silently put away his saber and returned to the spectator stand. He checked on Bei Shishi. After finding that she was fine, he returned to their residence. Everyone else also returned. They found that Long Chen was in seclusion, and no one dared to disturb him. Today, Long Chen's display was truly frightening. The next day, Bei Shishi woke up, fully recovered. A golden birthmark had appeared on her forehead. There was a golden rune within it. This golden rune seemed to possess power that could destroy heaven and earth. It was so powerful that others didn't even dare to look at it directly. Once Bei Shishi was awake, everyone's mood improved. Although she had lost, it was fine as long as she wasn't hurt. Furthermore, in the history of the Nine Prefecture Convention, no one from the High Firmament Academy had ever gotten into the top eight. That was already a very stunning accomplishment. 
On top of that, they still had Long Chen. The High Firmament Academy was actually fighting for first place. Their hope now rested on Long Chen. However, Long Chen hadn't said a word after the fight. They were all worried for him. Long Chen had lost his past intelligence and calm, and that was not a good premonition. Bei Shishi knocked on Long Chen's door, but he didn't open it, so she could only leave. When she went to her mother's room, the mother and daughter pair looked at each other. After that, Bei Shishi's mother shook her head. Foolish child, you've fallen for him. Nonsense. I won't fall for any man. I don't need one. Bei Shishi blushed and shook her head. I've told you before. Once you encounter a foolish oaf willing to risk his life for you, you won't be able to escape. That's the fate of us women. I was also proud like you. Your father is a careless fool. Completely different from the partner I dreamed of. But when he used his own body to receive an enemy's blade for me, I knew that I was doomed. When it comes to love, there is no such thing as subduing and being conquered. There is no stronger or weaker. There is no fight for status or position. When you fall for someone, you can only obediently surrender. Struggling is meaningless, said Bei Shishi's mother profoundly. Bei Shishi shook her head. I don't know your world, but you don't know my world either. Don't use your values to judge me. I am me. I am different from you. After saying that, she turned and left. Watching her back, a strange smile appeared on her mother's face. On the third day, Long Chen came out of his room. He was wearing a cloak that covered most of his face. Looking at him, no one dared to say a word. They simply followed him back to the island. When Long Chen appeared, the lots had yet to be drawn. Long Chen then directly went to the fourth remaining competitor who wasn't himself. Ku Wuya, or Ji Yui Yun, hand me your tablet. Long Chen's voice was ice cold and contained boundless killing intent. Every word seemed to be a bloody curse of death. That expert shivered. He had progressed to this point by paying his opponent, and he had no intention of fighting these three monsters. Hence, he handed over his tablet, quivering. Long Chen then smashed this tablet against his own, shattering it. Following that, the martial stage rumbled. Even the Huaian Trading Company's people were shocked. The lots weren't even drawn. So how was the martial stage activating? Long Chen, he, he activated the martial stage's blood match and wants to fight one against two. Bei Shishi's mother's expression instantly changed. The entire crowd instantly erupted in chaos. Chapter 3142 Peak Fury When the martial stage was activated, a barrier appeared. It was covered in countless blood-colored chains. Heavens, the blood chains have appeared. This is a battle to the death. One side must die in order for it to be released exclaimed a divine lord. Just like the Tao discussion stage, the martial Tao stage was also a divine item passed down from ancient times. Although it was Silver Moon City that oversaw it, even they didn't know much about its history. All they knew was that once the martial stage was activated, everything was done according to its laws. No one could interfere, or they would be killed by the martial stage. The martial stage also had its own special laws. People had tested them before. For example, someone had activated the martial stage's blood match once tens of thousands of years ago. When four experts appeared, they could do a two against two fight to the death. However, once such a match was started, one side had to die. If their battle took over a day without a victor being decided, everyone on the martial stage would be killed. Using that person's tablet. Long Chen had directly activated the blood match and then crushed that person's tablet, essentially making it a one against two battle to the death. Long Chen, have you gone mad? Bei Shishi grabbed Long Chen furiously. She had never expected him to make such a choice. However, when she grabbed him, she saw his face and stiffened. Three black marks had appeared in his eyes. You, I'm angry. Angry to the peak. I cannot wait any longer. Long Chen did his best to make his voice sound natural for Bei Shishi, but it still grated. Yesterday, in the face of Ku Wuya's provocation, even if he had to face the martial stage, he would still break it to save Bei Shishi. Although Bei Shishi was alright in the end, his rage had not dissipated. He had barely managed to endure it, but it was also during this time that he noticed those three black marks in his eyes. This was the power of the purgatory eyes and it had started to leak out. Furthermore, 
His killing intent was completely uncontrollable. It was very painful. If he didn't unleash this energy, he would go mad. Thus, he couldn't wait. He decided to end things with Ku Wu Aya and Ji Yu Aiyan together. It was not to show off, but it was because he had no other choice. His anger had reached a peak. However, when Bei Shishi heard these words, she thought about something else. Without realizing it, a layer of mist appeared in her eyes. She also thought of her mother's words. When a foolish oaf was willing to risk his life for her, her fate would be set. You must come back alive. Otherwise, Bei Shishi looked at Long Chen, her voice quivering ever so slightly. I will. Long Chen nodded. His tablet began to flash, and he appeared on the martial stage. Facing Ku Wu Aya and Ji Yu Aiyan, the martial stage shuddered and rapidly grew. At this moment, an immense pressure caused the clouds to change color and the sky to rumble. Heavens. Black clouds covering the heavens. What kind of premonition is this? The sunny day instantly became shrouded in black clouds. The world became dark, and a tense air pressed down on people's hearts. This ancient martial stage will base its defensive power on the power of its fighters and how much destructive power they have. However, under normal circumstances, its strengthening only occurs after it is partially destroyed. This time, the battle hasn't even started yet, but the martial stage has begun to strengthen itself. This signifies that their power has surpassed our expectations. Heavenly rumbling, black clouds. This is probably a premonition of a peerless heavenly genius falling, but we don't know who. I wonder who of these three is so powerful that even before dying, they invoke a heavenly Tao manifestation people clenched their fists as they watched nervously. This was a battle between peak experts. They didn't dare to even blink for fear of missing something. Long Chen, I didn't expect you to be able to court death so flashily. Ku Wu Aya sneered, wielding his wolf tooth club in his hand. You really are making things hard on yourself. I don't want to fight with this fellow. A corpse devil cultivator isn't qualified to fight alongside me. Ji Yu Aiyun looked at Ku Wu Aya beside him and shook his head. Ku Wu Aya's expression changed. Do you think that being in Puta's disciple makes you so amazing? You aren't even close to a match for me. Ku Wu Aya was naturally enraged by Ji Yu Aiyun's disdain. Of course, when it came to their background. He couldn't compare to a world king's disciple. However, he had absolute confidence in his power. Both of them taunted each other as if they were indifferent to Long Chen's existence. With Long Chen's face covered by his cloak, his body quivered. He then extended a hand, and a black saber appeared in it. Long Chen stood there with his black saber resting on his shoulder. He didn't unleash any aura, but the martial stage's barrier shuddered. After that, Boundless killing intent passed through the barrier, causing the black clouds in the sky to shake and thunder to howl. The heavenly deos were wailing. Just how many people has he killed? How can he frighten even the heavenly deos? Shouted a divine lord. A person's killing intent was related to how many life forms they had killed. The millions and millions of people here were all experts, and it was unknown just how many divine lords there were. However, they had never seen someone with such terrifying killing intent. They stared in shock at Long Chen, this champion of the Tao discussion stage, whose smile was like that of a warm neighbor, had become a devil king from hell in the blink of an eye. Just where did this killing intent come from? This is boss's true battle state. Make sure to watch closely. Chin Feng cried out excitedly. He was finally seeing Long Chen fight all out again. Bei Ziaol and the others weren't able to muster up any excitement, as they were all shaken by Long Chen's killing intent. There was only fear in their hearts, not excitement. Do you know why I challenged you one against two and activated the blood match? Long Chen looked at Ku Wu Aya and Ji Yu Aiyun, his voice icy like the summons of a death god. Chapter 3143 Absolute Power Holding His Black Saber Long Chen was unleashing terrifying killing intent. Even the martial stage's barrier was shuddering because of this overwhelming killing intent. Ripples were passing through it. Ku Wu Aya and Ji Yu Aiyun's expressions were originally disdainful. Because in their eyes, Long Chen wasn't a match for them. They both felt that he was still lacking compared to the two of them. But his killing intent caused that opinion to change. Even as fellow heavenly geniuses who had killed countless experts, 
they had never witnessed such heavy killing intent. This killing intent had condensed into a substantial form and was practically its own domain. Weaker people wouldn't even be able to move within this killing intent's domain. Their will would crumble and their souls would directly extinguish. Every single one of Long Chen's words was like a hammer smashing into their hearts, and they could no longer hold any disdain for him. HMPH, you have some ability, but is this your base for challenging us at the same time? That only means that you're a frog at the bottom of a well. You have no idea how powerful I am. I don't mind telling you that when I fought Beishishi, I didn't even use half my power, sneered Ku Wuya. As for Ji Yui Yan, he remained expressionless, seemingly disdaining to even answer Long Chen's question. No matter how powerful you are, it's meaningless. The reason I challenged both of you is because I was worried one of you would run off after I killed the first. I can't be bothered to chase after you. This will save me quite some time. An icy light shone in Long Chen's eyes. Ha ha ha. Ku Wuaya laughed as if he had just heard the world's funniest joke. Just as Ku Wuaya was laughing, Long Chen stamped on the ground and shot toward him like a black meteor. Shocked cries rang out as soon as he moved. The barrier between them hasn't vanished yet. Just then, a saber and a man pierced through the barrier. A black saber image tore into the sky and a black river of stars slashed toward the two of them. The two of them were shocked. Their battle had yet to officially start, but Long Chen had directly attacked, ignoring the defense of the barrier. Ji Yui Yun formed a one-handed seal and vanished just as the saber fell. As for Ku Wuaya, he didn't even have time to dodge. Boom. Ku Wuaya was directly struck by the saber, which even slashed through the martial stage's first barrier next to the spectator stands leaving a giant scar. The spectators' jaws dropped. The power of his saber shocked them. They then looked at Ku Wuaya's split body. Ku Wuaya died. No, he's not dead. Ku Wuaya appeared in a corner of the martial stage, his expression a mixture of shock and fury. Looking at the corpse that Long Chen had split in two, they realized that it was a black furred corpse. A substitution art. Startled cries rang out, unable to dodge in time. Ku Wuaya had used a substitution art to save his life, but such a thing required previous preparation. The substitute had to be hidden in advance. Without preparation, there was no way to use such a technique. People quickly realized that while Ku Wuaya had been looking down on Long Chen on the surface, he was actually quite afraid of him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have set up such a technique in advance. But it was due to this fear that he had survived. Ku Wuaya was enraged. That was no ordinary substitute but an ancient corpse puppet he had spent a huge amount of time and effort on building. It was a corpse puppet refined from an expert of the ancient era. The defense of this corpse was so great that even an attack from a treasure item wouldn't be able to cause it any damage. But Long Chen had ruined it. This ancient corpse was something that Ku Wuaya had been planning on using to sneak attack Ji Yui Yun during their fight against Long Chen. He was hoping to give Ji Yui Yun a serious injury during their fight. As long as Ji Yui Yun was killed, it would be easy to deal with Long Chen, or so he thought. But he hadn't expected this plan to be ruined right at the start. Courting death, Ku Wuai roared and Black Chi erupted from his body. That ancient corpse's potential had been limitless. As long as he continued to work on it, it could be raised to the level of a divine lord. But now it was gone. Not only was it destroyed, but he was also humiliated. He could not tolerate such a provocation. Ku Wuaya's manifestation burst into existence, and the roar of 10,000 devils could be heard, along with the voice of the heavenly howler. Countless black figures appeared in his manifestation. They were strange beasts, all of them as large as mountains. Ku Wuaya's body also became covered in black spots that transformed into wriggling vipers. After that, black flames ignited around him and his aura instantly erupted. It was several times stronger than when he had fought Beishishi. Heavens, this is his true power. Startled cries rang out. He hadn't just been bragging. He really hadn't brought out his full power against Beishishi. The wolf tooth club smashed into the air, unleashing a giant image that was like a divine pillar smashing toward Long Chen. Long Chen had struck him with his saber, so he was going to strike back to even things out. In the face of this attack, Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder. After that, 
Black ripples appeared in his hand, and his icy voice rang out once more. You're still trying to hold back at this time? You're worse than animals. You don't know what respect is. Today, I'll show you absolute power. Long Chen bent his knees and back ever so slightly. It was as if he was carrying the entire world. Inside his heart, he cried. Divine ring. Azure dragon battle armor. A dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth. Long Chen's giant divine ring appeared behind him. As it circulated, the 10,000 Deos crumbled, and Long Chen's body became covered in white dragon scales. There was a flame mark on every scale emitting majestic power. Divine flames. Ignite. Long Chen's divine flames instantly ignited. With the flames on his scales burning, gusts of astral winds unfurled in every direction. Chapter 3144 Unleashed Power Astral Winds Raged. It was as if millions of invisible wind blades were slicing through the air. As a result, Ku Wuaya's giant attack rumbled and actually crumbled just like that. What just his aura is enough to repel Ku Wuaya's attack? What kind of power is that? Everyone stared in shock at Long Chen. He was covered in white dragon scales, and flames burned on top of them. It was possible to see a white azure dragon roaming around Long Chen's body within those flames. When the dragon roar resounded through the air, his terrifying might shook the formation. These people are all monsters. Under that kind of pressure, I wouldn't even be able to attack before being crushed, said a primal. Despite being in the divine flame realm, how was the difference between them so immense? Heavens, Long Chen's aura is still rising. He has even greater power. Startled cries rang out. As the astral winds continued, Long Chen's aura fluctuated intensely. It was as if some greater power was about to burst out. How can this be? People stared in shock at Long Chen. His power was clearly scattering, not condensing. He hadn't even started to pull it back in. So it hadn't reached the limit. This wasn't his peak condition yet. Ku Wuaya's disdain had long since vanished. Now, he felt his hair standing on end, and an intense feeling of death started to fill him. Starry river of the sky art. Long Chen suddenly shouted thunderously, while inside he shouted, Six star battle armor. As a result, the land beneath Long Chen's feet exploded, transforming into nothingness. It was like a volcano accumulating power for millions of years was erupting. A pillar of light then tore into the sky, piercing through the martial stages barrier. Also, the black clouds were blown apart, allowing them to see the stars in the cosmos. The barrier it's broken. The martial stages barrier couldn't be broken. This was simply common knowledge. Even divine lords couldn't break it, but it was pierced by Long Chen's aura. They instantly became dumbfounded, not daring to believe their eyes. Countless cracks covered the barrier until it shattered. After that, startled cries rang out as a terrifying chi wave blasted over. Just at this moment, a new barrier appeared, but part of the chi wave leaped through. A ripple could be seen moving toward the spectators. Fortunately, another barrier appeared in front of the spectator stands, but this barrier was then blasted apart just as it appeared. People who had expected this barrier to block the attack suddenly cried out in terror. The ripple blew apart the inner spectator stand leaving countless people covered in blood and looking wretched. The outer spectator stands people who had originally envied them for having a closer vantage point immediately stopped feeling that way. It seemed that the outer spectator stand was safer. Beishishi's golden shield slowly retracted, restoring everyone's field of vision. When they saw Long Chen unleashing wild astral winds that tore at the heavens, Luo Bing and the others almost jumped in excitement. They had never expected Long Chen to be concealing such terrifying power. Thinking of their previous worry for him, they found it laughable. In the outer spectator stand, the disciples of the High Firmament Academy shouted so loudly that their throats broke. Yet that didn't stop them. Even the martial stage was unable to bear his power. Due to the pillar of light soaring out of his body, the barrier was unable to fully reform before it was destroyed again. Another barrier quickly appeared, but still, another chi wave escaped. Again, startled cries rang out as everyone defended, but they were once more blasted back by the chi wave. Quite a few ran off, while a few stronger ones were able to remain, but their bodies were covered in tiny wounds. The experts, who had been blasted away by the first chi wave and had chosen to run back, 
nor ran even further away, with quite a few injured again. They decided to simply stay in the outer spectator stand. More barriers continued to rise and be destroyed, unleashing wave after wave. As the inner spectator stand's barrier was unable to block those terrifying chi waves, it was left riddled with holes, with only a few primals able to ignore the astral winds. Even those primals were injured, but experts had their own dignity. Even if they were injured, they chose not to go to the outer spectator stand. If you can't even endure this leaking aura, how can you be called an expert? Unless the spectator stand is completely destroyed, I won't be leaving. One of the primals directly made a stubborn declaration. Within the martial stage, Long Chen's aura was continuing to rise. His divine ring spun, and a dragon roar continued to resound through the air. One man and one saber appeared incredibly arrogant, as if viewing everyone else's beneath them. Ku Wuaya stared in shock as he stood in the air. He had never expected such a thing. Standing in the air with those astral winds raging was like being a tiny boat on a raging sea. However, even as these wild astral winds raged through the martial stage, Ji Yui Yun's fat figure never appeared. It was impossible to find a trace of his existence. He wouldn't have run away with the destruction of the barrier, right? Asked Bei Ziaol. But when he thought about it, that didn't seem likely. However, the other possibility was that he was still hidden within the martial stage. But if that was true, and he was able to remain hidden even within this raging space, his concealing arts were truly terrifying. The barrier was broken eight times before Long Chen's aura finally started to condense. As the barrier had stopped breaking, the spectators sighed with relief. When the astral winds faded, the martial stage returned to calm, and the ground slowly settled. The barrier covered the stage once more. Everything had returned to calm, but this calm world was even more terrifying. Everyone instantly grew so tense that they could only hear their own heartbeats thudding in their ears. Long Chen, he's injured. Bei Shishi looked at Long Chen and suddenly saw blood leaking from the edges of his dragon scales. As for Long Chen himself, he didn't even seem to notice that blood. He looked at Ku Wuaya. If you don't use your full power, you won't have the slightest chance later on. After saying that, Long Chen began to walk over to him. Every step he took caused the void to shake. The sound of his footsteps was like the overture performed by a death god before killing people. Chapter 3145 Corpse Devil Projection Long Chen walked toward Ku Wuaya just like how Ku Wuaya had walked toward the bound Bei Shishi. However, Long Chen had a giant saber on his shoulder, and every step he took caused the world to shake. He was like a devil king from the depths of hell. In a person's life, they should learn what respect is. All experts are revered and weaklings exist to be killed. That's dog shit. No matter how powerful a person is, they must have respect and gratitude for this world. Otherwise, no matter how evil you are, someone worse will come to take your life. Your blood will be used to wash away your sins. Long Chen's voice was cold, like the judgment of a Yama king. The black marks continued to revolve in his eyes. Ha ha ha. Who do you think you are the judge of righteousness? You've killed countless people, yet you dare to judge others? If experts don't stand above all others, why work like your life's on the line to cultivate Ku Wuaya laughed disdainfully. At this moment, figures began to wiggle within Ku Wuaya's manifestation. As one figure after another appeared, Ku Wuaya's skin grew darker and darker. It began to transform, looking like a withered corpse. But a vast, sea-like power rose within his body. Long Chen ignored these movements from him. He coldly said, I've seen far too many idiots like you. I'm not saying these words for you. I don't waste my saliva on dead people. I say it for certain people in the spectator stands. I don't want to kill people, but don't force me. Don't anger me because once I'm angry, even I don't know what I will do. On the spectator stands, quite a few experts' hearts shook. Those that were his enemies and had provoked him felt a burst of fear. When the High Firmament Academy's disciples had first entered Silver Moon City, countless people had sneered at them and provoked them. Now, those people truly felt like there was no medicine to cure their stupidity. This was a demon who dared to challenge Ku Wuaya and Ji Yui Yun together. They were already terrified of Ku Wuaya and Ji Yui Yun, but Long Chen was now even more terrifying than both of them. 
Long Chen's vast killing intent locked onto Ku Wuaya. He sneered. Are you sneakily using a trump card that you can't show others? Or did you think that I wouldn't notice? A senior once told me not to play around with such shameful tricks. Because in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless. I've always kept those words in my heart. When I think back, my old self really was just as laughably foolish as you. I won't use my intelligence now because in this world, many times, intelligence is unable to resolve your problems. You can only use martial power. When Long Chen slowly raised his saber, the world fell deathly silent. All the murderous aura of heaven and earth was sucked into this saber without leaving a single drop. What a terrifying mental energy. It has already merged with the world, exclaimed a divine lord. This mental energy was incredibly profound. Only those who had come into contact with it understood it. Those who hadn't wouldn't understand it no matter how it was explained to them. This was an energy that lay above spiritual strength. One that was similar to willpower yet also different. It was like invisible roots from a tree, extending into heaven and earth. My mental energy came from cultivation of the music Tao, while his mental energy was tempered by endless slaughter. There is a huge difference in concentration between the two. A voice rang out. Everyone looked over to see that it was the expert from the zither sect, Liao Yu Huang. Her expression was complicated as she gazed upon Long Chen. Now she understood why he had interrupted her rising mental energy. If they had gone any further, this slaughter intent would have erupted. When that erupted, it would be like a sword coming out of its sheath. Like an arrow being loosed from its string. There would be no return without blood. If it was unleashed, then without killing her, his own mental energy would cause a backlash that would affect his future. It was the same now. Even without the martial stages rules in effect. Right now, either he killed Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuaya, or he died. There was no third possibility. When it came to mental realm, Liao Yu Huang had a huge natural advantage thanks to her music cultivation. Although she wouldn't dare to say that he was unrivaled. Amongst all these cultivators, the mental energy of music cultivators was definitely the strongest. However, when compared to Long Chen's mental energy, it was like hers was a tiny stream compared to a vast sea. Now, this vast sea was awakening, becoming a raging storm. Use whatever tricks you have. As for myself, I will only use this one saber Long Chen slashed his saber. His movements weren't fast, but his saber left behind a black crack in the air wherever it passed. Saber Chi erupted toward Ku Wuaya. Corpse Devil Projection. Ancient Tao Transmission. Ku Wuaya roared and those wriggling figures behind him unleashed rays of light onto his back. In that instant, Ku Wuaya's aura rose by several times, shocking everyone. In the blink of an eye, his power had multiplied. How can he increase his power so much? Is he not afraid of his body exploding? exclaimed Luo Shue. Ku Wuaya's physical body essentially isn't human. It's half corpse. Due to absorbing so much corpse poison, his physical body has been strengthened to the point of being impervious to blades or spears. When he fought Fairy Shishi, he intentionally let her sword pierce his body to create the illusion that that was the limit of his physical body. He's quite crafty. His half-corpse body can endure this kind of eruption. He did that before to make Fairy Shishi careless so that he could counterattack. Surprisingly, Liao Yuhuang walked over to them and answered her question. Boom. Just then. Ku Wuaya's bone club smashed into Long Chen's saber. The clash of these two divine weapons unleashed a heaven-shaking explosion. The instant they clashed, it was as if a sun was born between them. It rapidly grew and struck the barrier. The barrier was like glass, instantly shattering. Not good. The spectators cried out in horror as that divine light raced toward them. Chapter 3146 One Saber Shakes Experts The Barrier Shattered which terrified the experts remaining in the inner spectator stand. If they were struck by this, would they have any chance of surviving? Just then, chains appeared around the martial stage. Like a giant lantern, the martial stage was sealed inside. The shock waves blasted the chains, but they were contained. The martial stage has actually changed form. People were stunned. The martial stage was no longer the same. It was now covered in chains looking like a paper lantern. But despite that, quite a bit of energy still escaped. 
and that energy blew past these people's faces, cutting them like knives. However, they all endured that pain to watch. Long Chen's saber was pressing down on Ku Wuaya. Corpse Chi erupted out of Ku Wuaya's body. Ten thousand devils were roaring within his manifestation. There seemed to be countless black vipers swimming across his body. However, no matter what he did, Long Chen's black saber continued to steadily suppress him. Ku Wuaya's face was twisted from the effort, but Long Chen's saber seemed to be as heavy as an entire world. Ku Wuaya was unable to shake him. As the saber pressed down, the martial stage was slowly sinking as well. The entire island became covered in cracks and began to sink too. Waves rose from the sea, crashing down on the island. With just his own power, Long Chen seemed to be bringing about the end of the world. The star shuddered and endless power poured through his body. This time, Long Chen's rage resulted in him unleashing his full power. All his 108,000 stars ignited, and he activated the six-star battle armor. He now possessed a power that even he hadn't dared to imagine. However, using this power also came with a price. His physical body was being pushed past its limits, so blood slowly leaked out from beneath his scales. Painful pans also came from all over his body, but he ignored it. This pain actually brought him a kind of difficult to describe pleasure. It was as if hurting himself within his anger was also a kind of delight. The power of his divine flames was constantly injuring himself. Fortunately, he had expected this, and the wood foundation divine trees in his primal chaos space were filled with life energy, healing his body as it broke down. Other than being painful, it didn't affect him. Veins throbbed on Long Chen's arms as his power grew, while Ku Wuaya's body was quivering. Strange sounds came from it as if it was about to be smashed apart. Just then, Long Chen swung his hand through the air. As a result, the void exploded and a dagger appeared, stopping less than an inch from Long Chen's neck. Its Gui Yun startled cries rang out. People had almost forgotten about him, but he had suddenly appeared. Long Chen's hand struck a fat face, and Gui Yun's figure appeared. He was sent flying smashing into the net of chains and bouncing back. Everyone saw a very clear handprint left on his face. It was such a deep imprint that it was funny, but no one laughed. Instead, they were shocked. Only after Long Chen had sent him flying did people realize that Long Chen was still pressing down on Ku Wuaya with only one hand on his saber. Even then, Ku Wuaya was suppressed. That meant that the difference in their physical power was clearly immense. Long Chen was able to suppress him with one hand and still had another hand capable of dealing with Gui Yun's sneak attack. The High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered loudly as encouragement, while those that hated Gui Yun also cheered along. The fact that Gui Yun had tortured the life forms of the Butterfly Spirit Race and the Butterfly Dance Race had drawn public fury. Almost everyone wished him dead, so this slap was incredibly satisfying to them. One draws my attention, the other sneak attacks. Did you plan this in advance? I already told you that your tricks are dog shit in front of absolute power. Did you think your special technique that suppresses the butterfly dance race's spiritual seal would mean that I couldn't track you? Actually, I could have killed you just now with that slap, but I feel like that would be letting you off too easily. It won't resolve the hatred in my heart. I'll show you what a tooth for a tooth and eye for an eye means. Long Chen's voice was full of hatred and anger. He was unable to accept that races like the Butterfly Spirit and Butterfly Dance races were treated so cruelly by others. When Dai Wu's soul was extracted, he felt like he was the one being tortured. That hatred drove him mad. When Gui Yun vanished, Long Chen found that he had lost connection with the seal that Dai Wu had left behind for him. He knew that Gui Yun had found a secret art to block it. However, Gui Yun couldn't escape the senses of the nine star hegemon body art. Hence, Long Chen's slap scattered his teeth and split open his mouth, causing him to bleed. This was everyone's first time seeing Gui Yun injured. Furthermore, it was from Long Chen's slap in the face. Thinking of what he had done to Dai Wu and her companion, countless people couldn't help cheering inside. Boom. Just then, Ku Wuaya took advantage of this moment to counterattack. A pair of black wings spread on his back, and his withered body seemed to regain its vitality, making his flesh plump once more. 
A fiendish head mark lit up on his club. Long Chen felt an immense power pour through it, knocking him back several steps. Every step caused the void to collapse. Ku Wuai really is sinister. He blocked Long Chen to get Ji Yuai Yan a chance to assassinate him, said Luo Shue. It's too bad that he underestimated Boss's power then. Even if Boss has to split his attention on them, Ku Wuai can only knock Boss back. He can't injure him at all, sneered Qin Fang. When it came to power, who could compete with Long Chen? Their plan was good, but Long Chen's power far surpassed their expectations. Even a full power counterattack from Ku Wuaya was only able to knock Long Chen back, while he himself was knocked back as well. Long Chen. Just then, Ji Yuai Yun roared furiously, with the handprint still clearly imprinted on his face. Ji Yuai Yun summoned a giant illusory image behind him. Countless cries came from the senior generation. The Blood Kill Halls in Puta. Chapter 3147 A World King's Pressure This black figure was also pudgy, and it even looked a bit similar to Ji Yuai Yun, but his aura was one that shook people's souls. Long Chen, do you think that you're very powerful? Do you think that without my assassination arts, I can't do anything to you? Do you know that the majority of my power is sealed by my master? I will repay you a hundredfold for the humiliation you've given me. You wish to face me directly? Then I'll show you my true power. I, Gui Yun, do not specialize in assassinations. Gui Yun took out a single drop of blood, which shook even divine lords. As soon as it appeared, divine might spread. A world king's pressure, that is a world king's essence blood. The drop of blood merged into Gui Yun's manifestation. After that, a figure walked out of his manifestation, his aura identical to Gui Yun's. The two figures overlapped. In that instant, the space around Gui Yun cracked and shattered. Gui Yun's figure vanished. However, Long Chen only snorted and swung his saber. The void exploded. People first saw a dagger and only afterward saw Gui Yun's figure. Long Chen's saber had struck his dagger. Astral winds whistled as their two weapons clashed. Long Chen coldly looked at Ji Yuai Yun. It seems that your words are true. Right now, your aura entirely belongs to Imputa. To put it more bluntly though, you are borrowing Imputa's power. It's not that the majority of your power is sealed by him. Is it so difficult to accept that you are simply weak? Long Chen's gaze was full of disdain. Ji Yuai Yun's aura and spiritual pressure had completely changed. This wasn't a power that belonged to him. Perhaps part of his power truly was sealed by Imputa. Perhaps so that Imputa could help him nourish that power. But then he could also borrow Imputa's power when he needed it. Imputa truly did care about this final disciple of his. Even divine lords were shaken. This was the pressure of a world king. Even they would be affected by this pressure. And their combat power would be sharply reduced. It had to be known that they were outside of the martial stage. For Long Chen to be facing Ji Yuai Yun directly, the pressure had to be unimaginable. That was the irresistible will of a world king. But Long Chen didn't seem affected by it at all, stunning them. It seemed that Long Chen was truly the greatest monster of this Nine Prefecture Convention. Long Chen's will was far stronger than theirs. This was a will that was capable of contending against the will of the Heavenly Deos even when he was a youth. Perhaps someone could kill him but no one could make his will bend. Suddenly, sparks flew out of Long Chen's saber. Ji Yuai Yun was forced back. With a final shove, Ji Yuai Yun was sent flying. Without even turning back, Long Chen swung his saber behind him. This seemingly casual yet also intentional swing struck a giant figure charging toward him. Ku Wuaya had rushed over, and yet with the way that Long Chen had moved, it was as if he had rushed over just to block Long Chen's saber as if he had been worried about his saber missing. Despite being the one trying to attack, it seemed that Ku Wuaya was the one passively defending. Boom. Ku Wuaya and Long Chen were both blown back. Long Chen was knocked back seven steps, while Ku Wuaya coughed up more black blood. That wasn't intentional like when he had fought Bei Shishi. Everyone saw that Ku Wuaya's hands were bleeding. One of his arms was deformed, clearly broken. Borrowing the power from Ku Wuaya's blow, Long Chen charged toward Ji Yuai Yun. He unleashed seven slashes, 
forcing Ji Yuai Yun back further and further until he was unable to block the seventh blow. With a flash, Ji Yuai Yun used his strange movement art to escape. Long Chen slashed his saber behind him once more, and Ku Wuya, who had just charged back, was sent flying once again. This time, it was even more vicious, with his shoulder dislocated. He's reading them? How can he really be doing that in a battle of that level? Even Divine Lords were shocked. If the first time was a coincidence, then how could this coincidence occur twice? Was there really something so coincidental in this world? Only someone whose realm was far greater than their opponent, someone who was far stronger, could possibly read their moves so easily. But Long Chen and Ku Wuya were in the same realm. Ku Wuya had become famous even as a youngster and had plenty of combat experience. There was no way that his moves were so easy to read. Furthermore, the number of people that had witnessed him fighting all out was exceedingly low. This was Long Chen's first time fighting him. There was no way he could have such a deep understanding of his opponent, but he had accurately predicted Ku Wuya twice, injuring him in the process. Due to reading him, Long Chen's attack struck Ku Wuya just as the latter was condensing his own power for his attack. Thus, Ku Wuya was stopped before he could unleash his full power. There was even a backlash from having his power flow backward. Having his power flow backward was like attacking himself. Ku Wuya was already suppressed by Long Chen's power, but now that he was being read as well, just these two simple attacks from Long Chen injured him. Amongst the crowd, one person suddenly sighed. When Ba San discussed the Tao, he said that all the Daos and laws of the world have their own rules. Cultivation is defying the heavens, using mortal eyes to see the Grand Tao. If even the Grand Tao can be seen, then the moves that people make can also be seen, read, and broken. This has nothing to do with cultivation base, realm, or talent. As long as you see the opening in a person's moves, you can unleash a precise attack to defeat them in one blow. At that time, someone refuted him, saying that this was nonsense. In a battle between people in the same realm where the two sides are equally matched, it would be impossible to see through your opponent's moves like that. At that time, Ba San said that just because that person was unable to do it, it didn't mean that others couldn't. Now, he's using himself to prove that his words were correct on the Tao discussion stage. Long Chen had said many shocking things that others were unable to accept. There were countless people who scoffed at his words. However, what he had said obtained the approval of the Tao discussion stage, making people think that the stage was broken. Even so, when he participated in the Martial Tao Convention, what he said was being proved over and over again. As the three of them fought, the martial stage shuddered. The barrier was shaking constantly, with gusts of astral winds blasting it over and over again. This was truly a world-shaking battle, with every attack containing the power to destroy heaven and earth. Even one against two, Long Chen was suppressing them, stunning countless people. Before this, who would have thought that someone in this world could fight Ku Wuya and Ji Yuai Yun together? After two hours. Ku Wuya lost his patience. He formed hand seals and the void collapsed. After that, a giant figure came out of that collapsed space. A terrifying divine pressure descended. I can't wait any longer. I'm not fighting a battle of attrition. I don't even want to win the championship anymore. I'm going to decide victory or defeat with one move against Long Chen. Covered in blood, Ku Wuya's eyes were full of killing intent. When everyone saw the giant figure that he had summoned, their hearts skipped a beat. That giant figure was actually a coffin. Chapter 3148 Entering a weak state? When that coffin appeared, a mix of rot and death aura appeared. It felt as if smelling it would cause people to rapidly age. The sky instantly turned dark. The giant coffin floated above Ku Wuya's head, unleashing black mist. Gui Yun, I'll give you the championship. Scram. I'll kill him myself, roared Ku Wuya. He was truly infuriated. He had never been so vexed in this lifetime. All his moves were seen through by Long Chen. No matter what he did, he was easily countered. In front of Long Chen, it was like he was a novice to the cultivation world. That feeling of powerlessness drove him mad. That intense feeling of being thwarted also made him uneasy. Ever since he had found the corpse Devil Dao, he had been unmatched in his realm. 
but all of that accumulated sharpness and confidence ran into a wall today. He couldn't accept this anymore, and it would very likely leave behind a heart devil. Even if the two of them did manage to slay Long Chen together, that heart devil wouldn't be erased. He had to personally defeat Long Chen. What a joke. Do I need you to give me the championship? Long Chen's life is mine. You're the one who should scram, sneered Ji Yui Yun. Weren't you trying to take advantage of me? Why didn't you take out this trump card at the beginning? The three of them paused and stood in different spots. Long Chen didn't press the attack. He just coldly looked at them. Not good. Long Chen is bleeding all over. Luo Zhu's expression changed. Only once they stopped did Luo Shu see that the slight traces of blood leaking throughout Long Chen's body had now turned into a heavier flow. His white scales were dyed red, and blood slowly dripped down. Everyone saw it. It seemed that Long Chen's condition wasn't good. After all, he was facing two terrifying figures. One was a monster of the corpse Devil Dao, and the other was a World King's disciple. One against two. It was shocking that Long Chen was able to fight against the two of them for so long. At this point, people were already guessing that if it wasn't one against two, Long Chen would probably have won. Seeing his current state though, countless people felt worried for him. Ku Wuya and Ji Yui Yun were both terrible people whom they hoped to lose. But it seemed that such a thing was unlikely. When Ku Wuya summoned his coffin, he told Ji Yui Yun to scram. He clearly had the utmost confidence in this trump card of his. But Ji Yui Yun actually told Ku Wuya to scram as well, demanding why the latter hadn't taken it out earlier. Just from their words. It was possible to tell that they both saw that Long Chen had left his peak condition and was starting to weaken, and they both wanted to personally kill him. In comparison to the fame and reward for first place, killing Long Chen personally was more important to them now. That was because Long Chen had given them a serious blow to their confidence and sharpness. For Ji Yui Yun, he had even been slapped in the face, and the handprint was still there. If they didn't personally kill Long Chen, it might become their life's regret or even a heart devil. That was the most frightening thing. As for Long Chen, although he was covered in blood, his aura still didn't show the slightest sign of flagging. It was still burning brightly like a flame. In fact, it seemed to be growing stronger. Why exactly have they decided that boss is weakening? I can't tell, said Bei Ziaol. You lack combat experience. Unfortunately. They don't know that those that drown always think that they're good swimmers. Countless people die because they think they have experience. But in this world, there's a kind of people that rely on breaking the laws of common sense to exist. Boss is one of them, said Qin Fang, still as confident as ever. The three of them were standing on the martial stage. No, it should be said that they were standing in a circular world of chains. Astral winds buffeted this space. It was as if invisible flags within space were constantly being blown. It was a shocking sight. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. His voice pierced directly into the heavens. Upon seeing this, Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuya's expressions changed. The so-called aura was a condensation of a person's essence, chi, and spirit. If any of them was lacking, then there would definitely be a change in their aura, as well as their voice. This one laugh was enough to show them that his aura wasn't weakening in the slightest. They had been calculating Long Chen's attack power and frequency, as well as his lost blood. Due to Long Chen's gushing aura, they couldn't determine the truth from just that. Long Chen was constantly bleeding. Based on their experience, they determined that he should be starting to enter a weak state. The reason Ku Wuya had taken out his coffin and even expressed that he was giving up on the championship was precisely because he had noticed this. Thus, he tried to force away Ji Yui Yun before it was all too noticeable. Unfortunately, he had underestimated Ji Yui Yun. Ji Yui Yun was an assassin with even sharper vision than him. He had just as much experience in killing people. If Ku Wuya could notice this, then Ji Yui Yun could as well. Thus, Ji Yui Yun naturally would reject him. He had to avenge the enmity of being slapped in the face. Otherwise, no matter how high he soared in the future, there would be no way to wash away this stain. However, just as the two of them were planning this, Long Chen's laugh was like two resounding slaps in their faces. The warm-up is just finished. But now, 
You're starting to fight over who should get to fight me? Are you trying to make me laugh to death? Long Chen's laughter rang out darkly. What? Warm up? Such a terrifying fight was a warm up? Was he trying to tell a scary story? Everyone's jaw dropped. Even divine lords were dumbfounded. The level of their fight was not at all inferior to battles between divine lords. Such a thing was a warm up? Was that not the biggest joke? The spectators felt like they had used up all the shock of their lifetimes on Long Chen. You still have trump cards. So how could I have used up all my trump cards? I really can't understand how weaklings like you have the courage to do such evil things. Just who gave you the courage Long Chen slowly raised his saber and pointed it at the two of them. This is the real battle. Due to my own power, my physical body wasn't able to keep up entirely, and I had to let them get used to each other. Now I'll show you my true power. If you're still going to hold back, then I don't mind telling you that your trump cards will be brought to hell with you. You can show them off to the Yama Kings. Big words. Who do you think you're trying to scare? Ku Wuya furiously formed hand seals. The giant coffin above his head rumbled and smashed toward Long Chen. Chains dropped from the coffin, sealing the space around Long Chen. Be suppressed, roared Ku Wuya. He had only just finished shouting when a black saber suddenly pierced through his chest. Chapter 3149 Immortal King Ancient Corpse The saber was like a bolt of lightning striking out of nowhere and pierced Ku Wuya's body. Black blood slowly dripped down it. Long Chen was holding the saber. There was a pair of lightning wings on his back. Right now, countless lightning runes revolved within those wings, all of them containing a power that caused the world to shake. It was completely different from ordinary lightning, as it possessed a will of annihilation, one that shook divine lords. When this pair of wings appeared, all the lightning in the black clouds vanished, as if afraid. The aura of heavenly tribulation. How can that be? The divine lords stared in shock at Long Chen's wings. In the immortal world, only divine lords and above had gone through tribulation, and only they were able to tell why the power of these lightning wings felt so familiar. Those below the divine lord realm, whether they were in the divine flame realm or the four peak realm, were not qualified to even undergo heavenly tribulation. But just in the divine flame realm, Long Chen had encountered heavenly tribulation almost taking his life. However, he had also benefited from it because Lai Long had absorbed the immortal lightning. Even so, the laws in the immortal world were different, so Lai Long's control over Thunder Force was far inferior than when they were in the mortal world. Afterward, Long Chen had won the Tao Discussion Convention, and the ancient stage had given him the world extermination lightning radiance. Long Chen then had Lai Long train in this technique. As a lightning spiritual body, it was capable of comprehending this technique when Long Chen couldn't. When Lai Long mastered this technique, it also immensely improved at controlling the immortal world's lightning. At the very least, it was capable of an initial control over heavenly tribulation lightning. Thus, when these lightning wings appeared, Long Chen's speed skyrocketed. Since it wasn't his own power, but Lai Long's power, it came without any sign or warning. You. Ku Wuya stared at Long Chen in disbelief. It was so sudden that he hadn't been prepared at all. His life was now in Long Chen's hands. I'll give you a chance. Long Chen coldly looked at Ku Wuya, and his saber suddenly shuddered. Ku Wuya's large body blew up just like that. A rain of black blood filled the air. He died just like that. People stared at that black blood, not daring to believe it. Just then. The giant coffin that had smashed down toward where Long Chen had been now changed direction and smashed toward him again. He's not dead. Startled cries rang out. If Ku Wuya was really dead, then there was no way that the coffin would attack Long Chen again. Long Chen didn't dodge and just rested his saber on his shoulder. He slowly raised his left hand toward the coffin. He wants to receive it with his bare hand. Countless eyes widened. At this moment. A lotus mark appeared on Long Chen's palm, and flame energy erupted. This lotus actually had a rainbow appear over it. Azure rainbow flame. When that flame appeared, all the experts were shaken. Was this not Chu Shuang's flame? How was it under Long Chen's control? Boom. The giant coffin smashed down, and Long Chen's palm met it. In front of the giant coffin, Long Chen was as minuscule as an ant. However, 
his palm caused heaven and earth to resonate. That giant coffin suddenly came to a stop. Be broken, Long Chen shouted, and with a final push, the coffin exploded. Countless bits of rubble flew in every direction. After that, a figure appeared within that rubble. It was a white-haired elder wearing bizarre clothes. His body was withered. At this moment, his eyes suddenly opened, and an incomparably sharp pressure soared. The pressure of an immortal king. The spectators were stunned. This elder actually had the aura of an immortal king. That was a terrifying existence above a divine lord. Just who was it? It seems that I overestimated you. I thought you still had a substitute. But you don't. This immortal king should be your trump card. You were planning on controlling it to fight together against me. I gave you enough time to use your substitution art. But it seems that you could only abandon your physical body and have your soul merge into this ancient corpse. Long Chen gazed at the immortal king's corpse. He could sense Ku Wuya's spiritual fluctuations from it. Only once he said this did the spectators realize that this terrifying expert was actually an ancient corpse. At the same time, they were stunned. Just how confident was Long Chen? It sounded as if he had had a chance to kill Ku Wuya but had let him off anyway. Long Chen, I'll rip out your soul and torture you for eternity the corpse roared. The voice was Ku Wuya's voice, but it was dry and rough. It was not the voice of a human. The corpse spread his arms. The rain of blood from Ku Wuya's body was absorbed by this ancient corpse. As for Long Chen, he just watched, allowing Ku Wuya to make his move. If Long Chen used his flame energy or thunder force to destroy this blood, he would clearly stop him, sighed Luo Shue. Even she had noticed that Ku Wuya was merging with his essence blood to better control this ancient corpse. But Long Chen wasn't stopping him. She really was a bit worried. Long Chen was still bleeding, so she didn't understand why he would do this. He could clearly save some energy. What she didn't know was that he was doing this to get a better understanding of his current body. He wanted his body to get used to fighting like this so that it wouldn't affect his future battles. The other reason was that he found that this pain was able to suppress the power of the purgatory eyes. He didn't know if it was because the pain was distracting him and stopping him from feeling anger. But in any case, it was allowing him to think more clearly. When all the blood was absorbed, the withered corpse grew plumper and filled with vitality. Ku Wuya then glared at Long Chen furiously. Long Chen, you destroyed my physical body. I'll kill you and everyone you care about. Ku Wuya moved. With a single step, he crossed the distance between them and unleashed a punch at Long Chen. Chapter 3150 Long Chen's greatest power A withered fist that almost looked comical smashed toward Long Chen. Despite its frail appearance, it possessed the power of law. The world seemed to become illusory just because of it. Long Chen blocked with his saber. With a huge explosion, the illusion was shattered. Both Long Chen and Ku Wuya in his ancient corpse were sent flying. They then smashed into the runic barrier. Everyone was shocked to notice a thin white line appeared on the corpse's fist. That was clearly left behind by Long Chen's saber. The junior generation was shocked that this ancient corpse would be able to block that heaven-shattering saber. On the other hand, the Divine Lord stared in shock at Long Chen, unable to believe that he had resisted the Immortal King's power without dying. It had to be known that this immortal king's corpse was perfectly preserved. Its fist still had its runes from when it was alive. Based on its clothes, it was definitely from an ancient time. But for it to be perfectly preserved after so many years meant that its physical body was absolutely terrifying. Otherwise, Ku Wuya wouldn't treat it as such a treasure. After merging his blood and soul into this corpse, Ku Wuya was now capable of activating a portion of an immortal king's might. That kind of might was enough to wipe out all experts in the Four Peak Realm. Even Divine Lords would flee. Was Long Chen really immune to this pressure? Although Ji Yui Yun had the pressure of a world king, it was just the slightest trace. But this immortal king's corpse still had the runes of an immortal king preserved. As for Long Chen, that one exchange had caused wounds to open up all over his body. Upon seeing this, Bei Shishi and the others' hearts clenched. Ku Wuya charged back at Long Chen like a bolt of lightning. His wolf tooth club reappeared in his hand. Long Chen then snorted and repeatedly slashed his saber, weaving a web of saber images flying toward Ku Wuya. Metallic ringing shook people's ears. 
It felt as if their souls were being torn apart, but despite that, everyone watched closely. This was a clash of heavenly geniuses that they might never see again, so they didn't want to miss a single detail. This was extremely beneficial to their future cultivation. Boom. The two of them exchanged hundreds of blows before the two once more separated. Long Chen was covered in blood, and many wounds had opened all over his body. It was a horrifying appearance. Long Chen, where did that tough mouth of yours go? Ha! Huh? You destroyed my physical body and ruined my future cultivation. I'll make you live a life worse than death. Anyone who dares to interfere, I'll kill them as well. I have nothing to lose. Ku Wuaya's face was twisted with hatred, and his voice dripped with resentment. This startled everyone. But thinking about it, they realized that with his soul merged into this corpse, he must be affected by the corpse's runes. He would only be able to rely on this corpse to cultivate. In other words, his original cultivation path was severed and he could only follow the path of this corpse. The only way he could break free from this corpse was to follow the corpse's original cultivation path to its old peak and then make a further breakthrough. Then he would be able to find a new body for himself. To walk someone else's path and reach an even higher level than them was truly as difficult as ascending the heavens. It was almost impossible. Thus, by destroying his physical body, Long Chen truly had set Ku Wuaya's cultivation realm in stone. He would never rise to higher levels. Perhaps if it was someone else, their ultimate goal would simply be the Divine Lord realm. However, for a genius like Ku Wuaya, he definitely had his sights on higher realms. Now, he was limited to this quasi-immortal king realm. It was as if a person knew they were dying and that all their efforts were meaningless. This was unacceptable to such a peak heavenly genius. Ku Wuaya was also warning Ji Yuai Yun not to interfere. In any case, he had become like this, so he didn't have any misjivings anymore. He didn't mind killing Ji Yuai Yun as well. In the distance, Ji Yuai Yun's expression was ugly. He also wanted to kill Long Chen, but Ku Wuaya had gone insane. Unless he could kill Ku Wuaya and Long Chen together, the enmity from this slap would not be avenged by him. The battle had taken several turns to end up like this. No one had expected such a thing to occur. A terrifying monster like Ku Wuaya had actually lost his physical body and his future. The price of this battle was truly immense. Seeing Ku Wuaya roaring with resentment, Long Chen lazily rested his saber on his shoulder. He then closed his eyes and took a deep breath. After a while, he slowly opened his eyes and shook his head. Don't you think it's too early to say these things? Do you still not understand? I already said that I was worried that after killing one of you, the other would flee. Have you forgotten? Ah, well, that's about enough. I figured out the limit of my body. With my recovery speed, my body should be able to endure it. Let this senseless battle come to an end. Long Chen's wild aura slowly faded until none of it was leaking at all. It felt as if he had simply given up on fighting. I loathe the way you talk so wildly with your expressionless face. Die. Ku Wuai roared furiously and once more crossed the distance between them with a single step. Runes lit up all over his body, and he smashed his club at Long Chen again. This time, it seemed as if he was attempting to decide victory or defeat with one move. In the face of this attack, Long Chen slowly raised his black saber. It was silent, with no aura. There was no manifestation. He only let out a simple slash. Boom. Just as everyone thought that Long Chen was about to be killed, the Black Saber's runes lit up. A heaven-shaking explosion stunned everyone. After that, Ku Wuaya's body was sent flying and smashed into the runic net. As a result, the barrier deformed, and a large hole was made in it. Furthermore, they were shocked to see that Ku Wuaya's treasure item, the Wolf Tooth Club, was broken. Only half of it remained in his hand. With a chill, everyone turned to stare at Long Chen. Chapter 3151 A Heaven Shaking Sob Air Ghosts and gods flee hundreds of wounds opened up on Long Chen's body, and blood was constantly pouring out of them. It even leaked out of his mouth. His aura was raging so wildly because he couldn't control that much power. Seeing Long Chen's state, countless people came to an understanding about his previous words. Before this, Long Chen had a huge amount of energy leaking out of his body, forming his aura. 
it was wasted to reduce the damage to his body. Through repeated injuries and testing, he now sealed that energy within his body, causing his effective power to soar. However, his own body was unable to endure this energy and was injured even more badly than before. So he was telling the truth. Heavens, just what cultivation technique does he train in? I heard that he created it himself. He merged the seven supreme yang technique and the starry river of the sky art into one. He had to come up with many areas himself because only a portion of both techniques remain. His path has already deviated from those two techniques. People had investigated Long Chen and had at least this much information on him. Then he really is a genius. However, no matter how strong the cultivation technique is, if he can't even control it properly and gets injured just by using it, there's a danger of him losing his life at any moment. Ugh. I wonder how far he can walk his path. An elder sighed emotionally over Long Chen. He clearly didn't have that high of an opinion for this self-created technique. If he could win the Tao discussion convention, his understanding of the Tao is clearly profound. Perhaps he really can blaze open an entirely new path. We can only watch in anticipation seeing Long Chen constantly bleeding. Countless people felt various emotions. Long Chen had truly given them a deep impression. However, this terrifying power was also harming himself. Just how long could he last? Even if he could beat Ku Wuya, there was still Ji Yui Yun. Even though this attack from Long Chen had truly been stunning, the situation hadn't changed. It didn't seem like either side had any advantage. Even now, they couldn't tell who would win. The High Firmament Academy's disciples no longer dared to make a sound. They were afraid their voices would disturb Long Chen. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu's eyes were full of tears. Seeing Long Chen's bloody state filled them with pain, but they couldn't help at all. Mu Qingyan was covering her mouth, her tears streaming down her face. She didn't want to watch Long Chen fighting like this. It seemed like he could lose his life at any moment. As for Luo Bing and the others, they clenched their fists, their palms sweaty. They were incredibly nervous. Ku Wuya spat out a mouthful of blood. Mixed inside were some broken bits of his insides. Long Chen, I didn't expect you to still have a move up your sleeves. Good, then let me see just how much blood you can bleed. Ku Wuya smiled cruelly as he eyed the rivulets of blood flowing down Long Chen's body. I have so much blood that I can't run out. On the other hand, you shouldn't have treated her like that. You shouldn't have used her to anger me. When I get angry, the heavens will flip. The earth will be overturned. The cosmos will break, and the 10,000 deos will crumble. Mountains of corpses will rise and rivers of blood will flow. Long Chen's gaze was dark. As he spoke, he slowly pointed his saber toward the heavens. His voice was icy, almost like a curse from a heavenly devil, yet also like an imperial edict from a god. Hearing his words, people felt as if they could already see the scene he spoke of. A feeling of terror directly pierced their souls. Just at this moment, a giant saber image rumbled and tore through the chain barrier. It tore through the clouds. What the barrier was broken. What technique is this? Seeing this heavenly blade suddenly soar and break the layers of runic chains. Everyone shot to their feet. Stop wandering and run. Get the hell away from it. A divine lord shouted. Whether it was people in the inner or outer spectator stand. Anyone in the path of this saber instantly fled to the side. Ku Wuya was horrified to sense a terrifying power lock on him. He couldn't move and he felt minuscule in the face of that saber. Now, a sensation of death welled up within him. Even the body of an immortal king was unable to protect him. Ji Yui Yun, get over here. If I die, you're next. I don't care about the championship or Long Chen's life. They're yours, shouted Ku Wuya. Split the heavens. Just at this moment. A thunderous roar came from Long Chen, and the world changed color as the giant saber image slashed down. In front of countless shocked gazes, the chain barrier simply exploded upon contact with it. The saber image slashed straight down toward Ku Wuya. This was a world-shaking attack, one that caused the river of stars to shake and the 10,000 deos to quake. An undefeatable will rose. It was as if the entire world was going to be split apart. Master. Bless me with divine power to protect me. Ji Yui Yun prayed and Imputa's figure in his manifestation quivered. Divine light fell on him. After that, 
His aura grew explosively, and he blazed as brightly as the sun. The power of the World King shrouded him as he appeared in front of Ku Wuaya. Ku Wuaya was delighted. He then spat out a mouthful of blood, and his manifestation rumbled. Countless figures appeared. There were millions of corpse monsters that flooded out and merged into his body. After that, Ku Wuaya's withered body instantly swelled up, as if his flesh and blood had been reborn. Dark runes also lit up all over his body. He then raised the remaining half of his wolf tooth club against Long Chen's attack. As Long Chen's saber fell, everything in its path was destroyed. The spectator stands were shattered, and the barrier that popped up was as flimsy as a bubble in front of this saber. Now, those people that were seated there originally felt a burst of fear. If it hadn't been for that Divine Lord's warning, they would have still been foolishly sitting there. The saber image fell upon Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuaya. As a result, both their manifestations crumbled, and the saber still didn't stop. It pierced through the chain barrier until it fully exploded. Broken fragments of the heavenly deos flew chaotically through the air. This was a truly world-shaking saber, one that even ghosts and gods would flee before. Seeing the wreckage of the martial stage, everyone stared in dumbfounded silence. Chapter 3152 Heavenly Flame Barrier The martial stage crumbled. This martial stage of unknown origin, which had existed for countless years and witnessed the battles of countless heavenly geniuses, was destroyed by Long Chen's saber. It was impossible to sense its aura any longer. The saber image continued to strike the sea, unleashing a huge wave. Water and astral winds mixed into a tempest that seemed to unleash water arrows in every direction. Seeing this, everyone hastily worked together to block them. Even divine lords were forced to take action. What happened to Ku Wuaya and Ji Yui Yan? Did they die? It was now impossible to see Ku Wuaya and Ji Yui Yan. The two of them were devoured by that saber. Blood slowly dripped down Long Chen's saber, dropping into the sea and causing red flowers to bloom. That blood didn't dissipate for quite some time. There seemed to be flames burning within it. Long Chen's scales were broken and he was covered in wounds. In some places, the wounds were so deep that it was possible to see bones. His body was clearly unable to endure such a terrifying impact. He had used split the heavens, and the nine acupuncture points he activated had shattered his insides. Split the heavens innately possessed the will of going against the heavenly deos. On the martial heaven continent, the will of the heavenly deos was not as powerful and obvious since the laws were incomplete. Here, the heavenly deos were complete so they did not allow any power to resist them. As a result, when Long Chen unleashed this move, he also endured a backlash from the heavenly deos. However, Long Chen had a gratified smile on his face. He had succeeded in bringing a technique from the mortal world to the immortal world. He would make the nine forms of Split the Heavens resound throughout the immortal world so that the old man could hear the name of Split the Heavens even down in the Yellow Springs. Long Chen seemed to be on the verge of collapse, but everyone who looked at him was filled with reverence. This was a true expert, someone who was so powerful that others could only look up to them. Suddenly, waves exploded from the sea, and a figure charged out of the waves. It was Ku Wuaya. However, half of his body was now missing. Even his immortal king's corpse was unable to endure Long Chen's attack. In his one remaining hand, a black rune that contained the aura of death flickered. It was as if millions of resentment spirits were sealed within it. Die. Ku Wuai roared furiously. Even together with Ji Yui Yun, his body was unable to endure Long Chen's attack. However, Long Chen was also heavily wounded. Seeing this, Ku Wuai would unleash all his remaining power to kill him now. Long Chen's body quivered ever so slightly. At the next moment, life energy spread throughout him and those terrifying wounds instantly closed. What everyone was stunned. Those terrifying wounds had been directly suppressed. They were unaware that Long Chen had sucked out the primal chaos space's life energy to heal. Ku Wuaya's twisted face instantly fell into despair when he saw this. Just how was he supposed to fight Long Chen like this? Just as he panicked, a black saber sliced off his remaining arm. Ku Wuaya was even worse off than Long Chen. His corpse body was now missing half of its runes, resulting in its power plummeting. It could no longer endure the attack of a treasure item. Long Chen's palm slammed into Ku Wuaya's body. Flame runes flowed out, 
entering Ku Wuaya's body and transforming into flame dragons that tightly bound him. Those flame dragons then viciously tore at Ku Wuaya's body. His runes were already gone, and his core energy was used up. Hence, his physical body was no longer strong enough to endure this attack. Those flame dragons were able to pierce his body, causing him to scream and howl in pain. That sound made other people's hair stand on end. Its karmic flames refining the souls. Startled cries rang out. This move had also been used against young Master Wuji. It directly pierced the heart to make people endure as much pain as they had caused. Unless a person had never done anything evil in their lifetime, this technique was absolutely terrifying. Heavenly Flame Barrier Novaloon.com with some one-handed seals. A giant sphere of flames appeared around this space. And under the illumination of the flames, people saw a lone black figure. That figure was trying to stealthily flee. You already agreed to work together with Ku Wuaya. Ku Wuaya would draw my attention. While you launched sneak attacks. What? Have you lost the courage to attack? Have you forgotten why I made this a one against two? All this effort. Wasn't it just to make sure that you stayed together? Sneered Long Chen. Staring at that black figure. People were filled with disbelief. Someone as powerful as Ji Yuai Yun. A world king's disciple. Was actually fleeing? Even he didn't dare to face Long Chen? The black figure completely ignored Long Chen's sneer. A dagger appeared and stabbed into the flame barrier. Ji Yuai Yun knew that Long Chen had at most 30% of his energy left. In that last exchange, he had exhausted a great deal of his own energy and didn't have much more energy than Long Chen. Also, the power of Long Chen's saber was able to interrupt the transmission of Imputa's divine energy to him. Hence, Ji Yuai Yun was no longer able to borrow his master's power. When he had seen Long Chen so seriously injured, he had thought that with Ku Wuaya, they could kill Long Chen. But when Long Chen instantly healed, that chance was lost. They no longer had the power to kill him. Hence, without caring about his face, Ji Yuai Yun fled. Long Chen sneered when he saw Ji Yuai Yun attempt to stab his way through the flame barrier. At this moment, his hand seals changed, and a lotus mark appeared on top of the barrier in front of Ji Yuai Yun. When Ji Yuai Yun stabbed it, it was like a sun had exploded. Ji Yuai Yun screamed, and the scent of roast pork filled the air. Ji Yuai Yun was quite unlucky. Huo Long had just gained control over the Azure Rainbow Flame, and its flame power had soared. It had already condensed the world extermination flame lotus within the barrier. If Ji Yuai Yun had chosen to attack Long Chen at that moment, considering that they were both in weakened states, he might have had the slightest chance. Unfortunately, due to his injuries and exhaustion, he had chosen to flee. His spiritual perception had dropped, and he had even jumped into such an obvious trap. Just then, Long Chen's saber fell. He didn't give Ji Yuai Yun any chance. Boom. Ji Yuai Yun hastily blocked and his arm exploded. His dagger flying away. He smashed toward the flame barrier. And another lotus flower appeared on the barrier and opened its embrace to welcome him. Chapter 3153 Corpse Devil Sect Master Bastard. Ji Yuai Yun roared. Unable to stop himself. Up in the air. He was unable to stop himself from flying into that flame lotus. Boom. When the flame lotus exploded, Ji Yuai Yun screamed as his body was covered in flames. He spat out blood that was instantly incinerated by the flames. After a second roasting, Ji Yuai Yun's plump body had thinned out quite a bit. Quite a bit of oil was squeezed out, but no one laughed at him. For the terrifying Ji Yuai Yun to be screaming like this, it was almost unbelievable. This has to be the karmic flames refining the soul again. Otherwise, with his status, Ji Yuai Yun wouldn't let himself scream like this. People's hearts and souls shuddered. To make such a person scream like this with no regard for his face was almost impossible. The fact that he was screaming only proved that he was suffering unbearable pain. I gave you a chance to fight me fairly, and we would fight with our true power. But you chose not to. Instead, you chose to run, only to fall into a sure death. Now. You no longer have any chance to fight me. You really are a fool, and a cowardly one at that. Real experts wave their blades at even stronger experts. But people like you put on a high and mighty exterior only to attack weaklings. 
Are you acting ruthless to cover up your own lack of ability and courage? Even your master is the same. He's nothing more than a dog. As for you, you only know how to bully the likes of the kind butterfly spirit race and the butterfly dance race. Then you reveal your true cowardly self against real experts. I suppose you can repent for your sins within the karmic flames. They will incinerate your souls to atone for your crimes. Long Chen's voice rang out like a god's declaration, shaking people to the core. This was also a pledge of justice for those slain, innocent spirits. Ahg Yi Yun struggled, but his body was wrapped in the lotus flames. No matter how he tried to break free, he was unable to escape its bindings. There was also Ku Wu Aya who was wrapped in flame dragons and crying out miserably. Their screams resounded through the air. If you want to kill them, you can come. Once the karmic flames are unleashed, they can't be stopped. If you interrupt them, their souls will immediately disperse, said Long Chen suddenly. Just then, an elder appeared outside the barrier of flames. This elder caused the members of the senior generation to cry out. The corpse devil sect sect master. The corpse devil sect sect master had concluded that Ku Wu Aya had no ability to resist. Ji Yu Yun was in the same spot and couldn't save him. Even though that sect master knew that interfering would cause a heart devil to grow within Ku Wu Aya, he had no choice. However, when he heard Long Chen's words, his heart shook. He quickly did a spiritual probe and found that his words were true. Millions of invisible threads on top of Long Chen's flame barrier were connected to Ji Yu Yun and Ku Wu Aya's souls. If an outer power broke this barrier, it really might cause the barrier to break along with their souls. Hence, his expression grew unsightly. He did doubt the veracity of Long Chen's words, but he didn't dare to take the risk. Ku Wu Aya was the successor of his corpse devil sect he didn't want him to die. Although Ku Wu Aya had lost his physical body, they had an ancient inheritance and secret arts that could assist him. If he continued to remain unrivaled, then that excess sharpness might actually not be a good thing. Giving him a blow might make him steady himself and focus more on cultivation. Thus, the sect master didn't dare to throw away Ku Wu Aya's life yet. Other than that, his other fear was that Ji Yu Yun would die too if he interfered. Then he would be doomed. Ji Yu Yun was Imputa's most cherished disciple. If he caused Ji Yu Yun's death, then his corpse devil sect couldn't possibly endure Imputa's wrath. Long Chen rested his black saber on his shoulder his back facing the corpse devil sect sect master. From the start, he had never even looked at him. It seemed that everything was within his calculations. That calm of having everything under his control made countless experts worship him. Despite being similar in age to many of them, on his own, he was able to suppress two peak experts. It didn't matter what kind of person he was, that kind of power would be enough to make countless people worship him. However, through this battle, Long Chen also won over the hearts of countless youngsters. They all viewed him as an idol and a goal. Release them. Otherwise, Long Chen directly interrupted the devil corpse sect sect master. Shut your mouth. In my eyes, you are nothing more than a large pile of dog shit. I've heard plenty of threats. And I'm tired of it. Just remember this. Boss Long San doesn't listen to anyone's threats. Your threats will only infuriate me and the consequences of infuriating me are very severe, so severe that you can't even imagine it. You, the sect master's fury soared. He wanted to save Ku Wu Aya, but he didn't want to say any bootlicking words, as that would only cause his sect's face to be lost. However, Long Chen wouldn't accept soft or tough words, resulting in him just standing there awkwardly, not daring to make a move or leave. Don't be impatient. Both of them have committed so many atrocities that the karmic flames will take some time to incinerate them all. Right now, all you need to do is wait. Wait until a certain person shows up. If he appears, perhaps there will be a chance for Ku Wu Aya to survive, said Long Chen, looking at Ji Yu Yun coldly. Wait? Everyone was startled. Seeing Ji Yu Yun screaming and struggling inside the flame lotus, they felt a chill. They felt like they knew who Long Chen was waiting for. The entire crowd was silent. The only sounds were Ji Yu Yun and Ku Wu Aya's screams, along with the sound of the raging flames. Long Chen simply stood there. His divine flame energy had vanished and his 108,000 star flames needed to be adjusted. 
Using Split the Heavens had used up quite a bit of their energy. They were down to less than 30%. Although his wounds looked as if they had healed. In reality, his body was riddled with holes. His physical body was truly too weak to endure this power even with the life energy of the Wood Foundation Divine Trees. Furthermore, the backlash of the Heavenly Deos from using Split the Heavens had left the mark of the Heavenly Deos on his wounds, making recovery slower. It felt like millions of needles were moving through his body. Anyone else would have been unable to endure that power, let alone fight while enduring it. But Long Chen's will was truly shocking. Even that fight hadn't caused his expression to twitch. Suddenly, Ji Yui Yun's manifestation appeared once more, and a divine might sword. A fat figure manifested, one that caused every expert soul to shudder. They had an urge to prostrate toward him, and they didn't even dare to look at that figure. Imputa, you finally appeared. I've been waiting a long time, said Long Chen lightly. Chapter 3154 Imputa shows himself everyone stared in shock at that huge figure within Ji Yui Yun's manifestation. They could sense the terrifying might of a world king. A world king was the realm above an immortal king, a heavenly deity who stood above all others and forced them to prostrate themselves in worship. A world king could destroy a world with a single hand. They were of a height that other cultivators couldn't imagine. Although it wasn't in Puta's true self and was merely a wisp of his soul, the pressure of a world king still made it so others couldn't move. It was as if a single thought could strip them of their lives. As for Long Chen, he didn't seem the slightest bit affected by this pressure. He looked coldly upon Imputa's figure. Considering that Ji Yui Yun was Imputa's precious disciple, Imputa would definitely leave a spiritual mark on him that would activate when his life was in danger. After all, when Imputa manifested himself, not many people within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands dared to be enemies with him. It seemed that his arrival was completely within Long Chen's expectations. Furthermore, it seemed that he had been precisely waiting for this moment. That shocked people. He wished to challenge a world king? It had to be known that even just the wisp of a world king wasn't something that they dared to blaspheme. Imputa's figure was rather vague and illusory, so it wasn't possible to see his facial features. But they could somewhat tell that he was looking at Long Chen. I didn't expect there to be someone capable of defeating Yun Er. So, are you thinking of killing my disciple? Curiously, Imputa's voice was very pleasant but a bit sinister. Although his voice was gentle, it possessed a will that could not be defied. Fatty, you don't recognize me? Look closely, or maybe think back. Long Chen gazed at Imputa. He had been waiting for him to appear precisely to confirm a certain thing. Fatty? Everyone's expression changed. Long Chen dared to call a world king Fatty? Just what were his guts made of? Imputa was startled but didn't get angry. He looked at Long Chen more closely and shook his head. What? Do you have enmity with me? If so, my apologies. But I don't bother remembering the enmities of such insignificant people. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. So Imputa didn't recognize him. In other words, when Long Chen had broken Imputa's divine statue in the martial heaven continent, it hadn't been him who had come at the end. That made sense. Just in the immortal world, Imputa had to have countless divine statues. There was no way he could manage all of them. He naturally didn't have time to bother with some minor faith energy in a mortal world. Imputa's response verified his guess. Imputa must have left his faith energy to his subordinates to manage. When Long Chen had been about to destroy the blood kill hall in the continent, he had received a message from what he thought was Imputa, asking him to not destroy his legacy. Only when he ascended into the immortal world did Long Chen realize just how terrifying a force Imputa was. For him to beg to spare his legacy in such a small place? Unlikely. Now Long Chen was sure that it was nothing more than an ant under his command. It was unknown just how many layers of higher ups there were above that person. Such a minor matter couldn't possibly reach Imputa's ears. Since that was the case, he was at ease. In the final battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, the continent's blood kill hall, corrupt path, pill valley, and the others were all wiped out. Their inheritances were gone. Now, the survivors only worshipped the five sovereigns, as well as those who had sacrificed their lives in battle like Kujinying, the old man, Ling Yunzi, and the others. Of course, there was also Long Chen, 
This way, Long Chen knew that Imputa didn't know who he was. Although he was aware that his identity would be exposed sooner or later, later would be best. It seems that you've pissed off too many people to even remember them. That's fine. Good and evil will face their karma in the end. Your sins will be repaid appropriately. Long Chen laughed. His words were ambiguous, leaving people lost. Was Long Chen not some ascender from the lower plane? How could he have enmity with Imputa? Good and evil will face karma? Do you believe in that superstition? I overestimated you. Tell me, from which foolish power are you? Imputa shook his head indifferently. Master, save me. Ji Yui Yun suddenly screamed. Even though his master had arrived, he wasn't doing anything to save him. He was just chatting with Long Chen. These karmic flames were so painful that Ji Yui Yun felt like he was crumbling. All people must pay the price for their mistakes. You weren't able to accurately measure your opponent. You couldn't suppress your pride when winning, and you couldn't retreat when losing. You've really disappointed your master. These karmic flames are the best punishment for you. That way, you'll remember this lesson. You are master's favorite disciple. If it was another disciple who lost like this, I would personally end them. But for you, I will permit one failure. If such a thing happens again though, I will save you just so I can personally kill you, said Imputa, his voice finally turning slightly cold. An assassin was permitted to fail, but they were definitely not permitted to be trapped like this. That was the greatest humiliation for an assassin. If an assassin failed, then they were to immediately flee from their opponent's range. They were to strike like lightning and slip away like a shadow. As for being trapped, was that really an assassin? He had lost face for the entire assassination world. But he, Ji Yui Yun cried out hastily. Long Chen had a terrifying perception. So his assassination arts were useless against him. He could only face him directly. Imputa snorted. No need to explain. After failing, you should have fled. With the ghost blade your master bestowed you, you were entirely capable of breaking the barrier and leaving. He didn't defeat you in one move. So you had many chances to flee, but you refused to, instead lured by the bait. If an assassin relies on wishful thinking, they are no longer an assassin. You already knew the danger and knew how low your odds were, but you still took the risk. That's not in line with the assassin's code. You must pay the price. Don't worry, you won't die. But I'll only save half your life, so you can absorb this lesson and not embarrass me in the future. Upon hearing this, Everyone's heart shook, as expected of a world king. Even though he hadn't personally watched the battle, his guess was accurate. Ji Yui Yun truly had suffered repeatedly at Long Chen's hands. As an assassin, he should have stopped taking the risk. However, this lesson was truly severe. The karmic flames were incomparably painful. Imputa was very strict with his disciples. Hearing their words, Long Chen smiled, as if he had just heard a huge joke. I say, Fatty, do you really think you're all that powerful? Did I say that you could save him? The crowd felt a chill hearing Long Chen's words. This fellow was truly a monster. However, Imputa didn't get angry. He was a bit surprised. What? Do you feel like you can kill him? Haha, <laughs> when I want to kill someone, no one can stop me, laughed Long Chen. Oh, is that so? Then I'm very interested. I'm not killing you because you are my disciple's target in the future. He will personally bring your head to me later. If he can't, I will kill him. But I'm very curious. Just what kind of trump cards do you have to say such big words? Asked Imputa. Something like this. Long Chen took out a single feather, and an auspicious rainbow light appeared. The dark clouds shrouding this world instantly became clear. The rainbow crane races original true feather. Imputa's tone instantly changed. Chapter 3155 Absolute Confidence When Long Chen took out the rainbow feather, countless people were shocked. They had never seen any rainbow cranes, let alone their original true feather. The rainbow cranes were auspicious beasts of heaven and earth, said to be the heirs of the world. There were no life forms that dared to make things hard on them. They had no struggles with the rest of the world. If someone saw them, they would be blessed through several generations. Legend had it that just seeing them would make a person be infected by the world's karmic luck, allowing their cultivation to go even more smoothly. However, 
It was said that they only lived in very special places. The High Firmament Academy was one of them. Other than the High Firmament Academy, the places that the Rainbow Cranes lived in were famous holy lands. No one dared to provoke them. The High Firmament Academy might have declined, but the Rainbow Cranes continued to live there. That meant that it was still an auspicious land, no matter how it declined. As long as the Rainbow Cranes continued to live there, it meant that the Academy could rise once more. However, just how many generations of the High Firmament Academy's disciples never even got to glimpse the Rainbow Cranes. Those weren't existences that they could see just because they wanted to. These experts had never seen a Rainbow Crane before, but hearing in Puta's words, they were shocked. Just who was Long Chen to possess an original true feather from the Rainbow Crane race? Inputa suddenly extended a hand toward Ji Yui Yun, but Long Chen seemed to expect that, and he already waved the feather in front of him. Rainbow light fell, separating Ji Yui Yun from Inputa. After that, Inputa's hand struck the wall of light and sizzled. His hand vanished. The Rainbow Crane race's heavenly blessing will not allow evil energy to pass through it. You are nothing more than some divine will. Correct? You can only unleash spiritual and mental attacks in this state. Since you can't use physical attacks, this original true feather perfectly counters you. I told you that no one could save who I want to kill, said Long Chen. Rainbow light surrounded him. It was as if the 10,000 Deos were circling around him. Long Chen didn't know much about the Rainbow Crane race, but he had started researching and studying the original true feather once he had obtained it. It could be said that he had figured out some of its uses. However, although he had studied it, he didn't dare to actually use its energy. That would be a waste of its precious energy. After all, after leaving the body of the Rainbow Crane, every bit of its energy that was used was lost forever. Once it was all used up, it would crumble. Today, using its energy not only blocked Inputa, but its light also rejected the marks left behind by the backlash of the heavenly Deos. Like the sun melting the snow, the marks quickly dissolved. Long Chen was delighted by that. The Rainbow Crane race was truly the favorite of the heavens. All things connected to the heavenly Deos were unable to harm them. Using split the heavens had infuriated the heavenly Deos, resulting in their will descending on his body. It was troublesome to heal such a thing, but now it was instantly healed. Not only that, but he felt his essence, chi, and spirit rapidly recovering. With its blessing, he rapidly went from less than 30% of his remaining energy to 40%. That took only a few breaths. It was his first time feeling so blessed by the heavens. Long Chen, if you dare to kill Ji Yui Yun, I swear I will make you regret it for a lifetime. Blocked by this wall, Inputa was finally unable to remain calm. His voice grew sinister. I should warn you about two things. I would only regret it if I didn't kill Ji Yui Yun. I do have things that I've regretted in this lifetime, but it's never been because of not killing people. Second, it seems that you didn't hear something I said before. Listen closely. Boss Long San doesn't listen to any threats. You are nothing more than Lord Brahma's dog. Do you think that I'm afraid of you? Sneered Long Chen. Whether it was the disciples or the elders, they were shaken. He was directly cursing a world king. In this world, perhaps only Long Chen had the guts to do such a thing. Long Chen, do you think you can do as you please just because you have the support of the High Firmament Academy? You're wrong. If you kill Ji Yui Yun, I guarantee that the High Firmament Academy will not be able to protect you. Don't ruin your future. Imputa's voice grew frosty. Everyone nodded, as expected of Inputa, the true ancestor of assassins. Even now, his anger was controlled. This was the terrifying restraint of an assassin. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect to learn such a thing. It seems that you're very afraid of the High Firmament Academy. Then this will be easy. Long Chen laughed. Through Inputa's words, he had grasped an important point. Despite his anger, Inputa only said that the High Firmament Academy wouldn't be able to protect him. He didn't say that he would destroy the High Firmament Academy. Clearly, Inputa knew that the Academy still had some power. It was due to this that he didn't dare to say such big words. Furthermore, Long Chen had long since started feeling that the Academy's power was not as simple as what appeared on the surface. It had a profoundly deep foundation. 
It simply hadn't shown it off in a long time. The Academy was so low-key that it would rather be looked down upon by others than bother explaining. Imputa's words only gave him greater confidence. That dragon race expert had truly sent him to the right place. This way, he could act even more recklessly. Master, save me. I can't last any longer. Ji Yui Yun cried out. His soul was constantly being burned. Once it was fully incinerated, even Imputa wouldn't be able to save him. Although he was enduring unimaginable pain due to the karmic flames, his mind hadn't scattered yet. His mind was still clear and experiencing all the pain clearly. Seeing the barrier separating Imputa from him, he wailed. Seeing his current wretched state, countless experts shook their heads. This was a peerless heavenly genius? In the face of death, he was still a coward. Perhaps just like what Long Chen had said before. Only when a blade struck their bodies would they know pain. Only when it was their own life being wreaked would they know how precious life was. Ji Yui Yun had killed countless people. He had used the cruelest method to extract the souls and essence blood of the butterfly spirit and butterfly dance races people. Had he ever cared about the loss of their lives? Hence, no one sympathized with him. This was his retribution. Long Chen, don't force me. Imputa was finally enraged. His voice changed, dripping with sharp killing intent. In an instant, it was as if the world had been dropped into an ice house. It was so cold that people felt like their souls would freeze. Chapter 3156 Wiping out Gui Yun force you? Ha ha ha. Long Chen raised his head and laughed, sneering. Are you joking? The founder of the Blood Kill Hall, an indomitable world king, is saying that a little divine flame rookie is forcing you to do something? Even I am embarrassed for you. Am I so terrifying? It was clearly Gui Yun who forced me. I didn't force you nor did I threaten you. I'm simply telling everyone a fact. Once Boss Long San decides on something, no one can change it. If Boss Long San wants to kill someone, no one can save that person. This wisp of your soul that you sent here came only to be humiliated. You can't do anything. You can only watch as your disciple is burned alive. The cycle of the heavenly deos always gives appropriate retribution. Your blood kill hall dared to sadistically slaughter the kind-hearted butterfly spirit and butterfly dance races. Dai Wu knew that she was going to die but still chose to come out to fight. In death, she entrusted me with her dream. A man's word is worth a thousand gold. I naturally must make sure she can rest in peace in the Yellow Springs. The experts present stared at Long Chen, and countless young disciples felt their blood heating up. Despite having no grievance with Ji Yui Yun himself, just due to being entrusted with this burden from Dai Wu, Long Chen was willing to offend Imputa. Only such a figure could be called a true hero, someone who made all other so called heavenly geniuses lose their splendor. Long Chen's light didn't just come from his martial might, it also came from the way that he could not be threatened or suppressed. Even if he knew he would die, he still had the courage to raise his blade against powerful experts. For countless people, this was their first time seeing such daring, their first time understanding what true domineeringness was. Long Chen, do you wish to start a war between the High Firmament Academy and the Blood Kill Hall? Do you know how many of the disciples of the High Firmament Academy will die because of you? How many people will pay with their lives for your foolishness? Demanded Imputa. If it weren't for Imputa's status, countless curses would have rained down on him from the crowd. He, a grand and mighty world king, was actually using the High Firmament Academy's disciples to threaten Long Chen. Perhaps Imputa wouldn't dare to directly attack the High Firmament Academy, but he could send a large number of assassins after their disciples. Then all those lives would be Long Chen's dead. They were unable to imagine just how a world king could be so shameless. Life and death are up to fate. The heavens give everyone their own opportunities and their own paths. And the path of cultivation is a bloody one of no return. If you want to kill the High Firmament Academy's disciples, then kill them. If they are killed, it can only be said that they aren't strong enough. Neither the Academy nor myself can protect them. Although I can't protect them, I will help them get their vengeance. For every person from the High Firmament Academy that you kill. I will slaughter a hundred people from your blood kill hall. If you slaughter a hundred people from the High Firmament Academy, I will wipe out one of your branch halls. 
I, Long Chen, came from the lower plane to the immortal world through a path paved with the bones of my enemies. I pushed through a river of blood pouring toward me. I have never said a single empty word. If you don't believe me, you can be so bold as to try me. Long Chen slowly pointed a saber at Imputa, unleashing a sharp killing intent that shook the stars of the nine heavens. His killing intent then clashed with the will of a world king and was not the slightest bit inferior. That scene was something that countless people would never be able to forget in their lifetime. Are you threatening me? Even as the world's top assassin, Imputa's restraint had hit its limit. Have you grown foolish with age? I already said that I never threatened anyone. I'm simply telling you what will happen. Of course, whether or not it does happen is related to your actions, sneered Long Chen. Master, I, I can't hold on. Just at this moment, Ji Yui Yun cried out. People were shocked to find that the flames burning him had shrunk down. His aura was also weakening. Ji Yui Yun was finally reaching his end under the burning of the karmic flames. Once the flames extinguished, his life would also be over. He would forever vanish from this world, not even entering the cycle of reincarnation. On the other hand, Ku Wuaya was still bitterly enduring. These karmic flames were incinerating all the evils that they had done. The more wicked deeds that someone had done, the longer they would burn. Everyone was a mix of good and evil. If a person did terrible things, they might still be able to keep a clear conscience on the surface, but their inner heart would feel uneasy. But as they did more bad things, they gradually grew numb to it. They no longer felt uneasy and would no longer feel as if it was wrong. However, it would leave a mark deep within their heart. In this case, the karmic flames were an impartial judge. Others wouldn't be able to judge whether a person was good or bad, and they could be tricked. But it was impossible to trick oneself. All the wicked deeds Ku Wuaya had done and buried deep within him surfaced with the burning of the karmic flames. Unexpectedly, Ku Wuaya had done even more evil than Ji Yui Yun. Long Chen, Imputa roared furiously. Ji Yui Yun was the disciple he favored the most and the one he wished to pass his entire legacy to. The only reason Imputa hadn't given him a protective divine item was because he didn't want his disciple to form any kind of dependency on it, ruining his cultivation. He was extremely strict with Ji Yui Yun just so that the latter could make something of himself. Other than this wisp of his soul, Imputa hadn't bestowed him with any terrifying treasure items. He had originally thought that this wisp of his soul would be enough, but he hadn't expected Long Chen to possess an original true feather from the Rainbow Crane race. It completely blocked his energy. Even as a world king, he was flummoxed. Master, Ji Yui Yun let out one final unwilling cry before his body exploded, transforming into flame runes that dissipated into heaven and earth. A generation's heavenly genius vanished from this world just like that. He was killed right in front of his master, a world king. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. Although they had been expecting it, they were still shaken the moment they saw him be killed. To kill Ji Yui Yun in front of his master, just how would Long Chen endure Imputa's wrath? Long Chen's expression was calm. One hand held his black saber, while the other hand held the original true feather. He stared coldly at Imputa. Following the death of Ji Yui Yun, Imputa's figure began to shrink. Without anything to fix him here due to his connection with Ji Yui Yun being severed, he was vanishing. Imputa furiously howled. All subordinates of divine venerate Brahma, attack now. Wipe out Long Chen and everyone from the High Firmament Academy. Chapter 3157 A Chaotic Battle Commences Imputa's figure vanished but his order continued to ring through the air. After that, chaos erupted. Countless sects instantly eyed the High Firmament Academy's disciples. Those disciples' hair stood on end. They were surrounded by countless powerful foes. Beishishi's mother grouped together with the High Firmament Academy's disciples and elders. She sneered, but before she could speak, Long Chen's voice rang out. Who wants to try it? I promise that whoever attacks will have their sects wiped out by me. Unless you can kill me, once I grow, there will be no place for you within the nine heavens and ten lands. Long Chen pointed his saber toward those experts. Ahh just at this moment, loud screams rang out. Ku Wuaya was finally unable to hold on any longer. Following Ji Yun's footsteps, he was incinerated. Die. 
Ku Wuaya's death caused the corpse devil sect sect master to roar and slam Long Chen's flame barrier with his palm. The power of a divine lord erupted. Boom. The void exploded as he destroyed the barrier. However, his palm was dodged by Long Chen. Even a divine lord was unable to lock him down. That was due to the divine blessing of the rainbow crane race covering his body. No mental or spiritual energy could harm him. Just as Long Chen was being hunted down by the corpse devil sect sect master, Bei Shishi's mother quickly moved to stop him when she heard Long Chen's voice. Let them come. I have my own way to deal with them. Bei Shishi's mother was startled. It had to be known that following the corpse devil sect sect master, over ten other divine lords were also charging at Long Chen. What was he doing? However, she had confidence in Long Chen. Hence, she ordered the High Firmament Academy's disciples to form up and prepare for battle instead. The audience was in chaos. No one had expected this nine prefecture convention to devolve into such a thing. The Huaian Trading Company's experts were shouting angrily for people to stop, but no one listened to them. All the experts that were attacking were connected to Lord Brahma. They all wanted to kill Long Chen, but they hadn't had an excuse to do so. Luckily, Imputa's order gave them the perfect excuse. There was no need to worry about others saying that they were bullying the weak. They were only listening to orders. Over ten divine lords charged at Long Chen, and even more of them were on their way. Their target was Long Chen's head. Considering Imputa's hatred for Long Chen, whoever could cut off Long Chen's head would get into Imputa's good grace. That was a huge favor. Furthermore, Long Chen was the High Firmament Academy's most outstanding disciple. The Academy had rejected Lord Brahma's attempts at pulling them in many times. Infuriating Lord Brahma, killing Long Chen would not only help out in Puta, but it would also be considered helping Lord Brahma. Fifty to sixty divine lords were charging at Long Chen. Their divine might threw the world into chaos. The spectator stands had long since been broken, and now they fully vanished within the chaos. Everyone was running around chaotically, and screams rang out. With the original true feather and his saber in his hands, lightning wings flapped on his back, causing him to weave through his attackers, dodging their attacks. A bunch of trash who don't know respect, sneered Long Chen as he dodged. You still dare to be arrogant with death at hand. Those divine lords were enraged, but there were so many of them in a crowded space that they couldn't even unleash their full power. Being unable to lock Long Chen down, they clenched their teeth furiously. Long Chen was flashing left and right as if dancing on the tip of a death god's scythe. The way he narrowly dodged those lethal attacks made other people's hearts quiver. However, no matter what those experts did, they were unable to touch Long Chen. The corpse devil sect sect master roared. Scram. Long Chen is mine. Perhaps if there was just one person, he could catch Long Chen. But with so many people, they were all interfering and restricting each other's movements. He killed young Master Wuji. He owes a huge debt to the Flower Butterfly School. Why should you get to kill him? Retorted the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. Don't stop me, you pig. Noveloon.com fuck off. Are you blind? You're the one in my way. Are you on the same side as Long Chen? Are you intentionally messing up our formation? What are you up to? Keep acting like this and don't blame me for not being courteous. I've long since wanted to stop being courteous. Long Chen's head will be taken by who has the ability. So what are you shouting for? Long Chen was like a slippery fish, and they were unable to catch him. Hence, they were all infuriated by this failure. Furthermore, as more experts joined in the effort to capture this big fish, quite a few divine lords charged toward Bei Shishi and the others. If it weren't for Long Chen, Bei Shishi would be the High Firmament Academy's number one expert. Killing her would also be good for them. At this moment, one divine lord reached Bei Shishi, and he unleashed a powerful palm with scorching light. He wanted to suppress Bei Shishi in one move. Looking at this, Bei Shishi snorted and slowly reached for the sword on her back. At the same time, a golden lotus mark appeared deep in her eyes. Her sword then came flying out of its sheath. Golden light flashed, and that divine lord's expression completely changed. His heaven-encompassing palm was gone. After the streak of golden light passed, the divine lord's body suddenly stiffened. He was cut in two. After that, 
his corpse instantly turned to gold and fell into the sea. A divine lord was slain with one slash of the sword. That made everyone jump in shock. As for Baishishi herself, she was also surprised. She had only intended to stop him with this move. She wasn't so arrogant to think that she could slay a divine lord with one swing of her sword. She turned to see Baziol forming hand seals, his three flower pupils active in his eyes. He had a pleased expression. Clearly, he had used the three flower pupils to influence their exchange. The divine lord had actually completely neglected Baziol's existence. The three flower pupils interrupted his technique and he was cut in two just like that by Baishishi's sword. This isn't a martial competition anymore. This is a real battle, and the goal is always to kill your opponents. There are no rules. Everyone, fight together. Ziaol, remember to assist us. Fairy Shishi, young master Changchun, let's fight together. Chin Fun was already charging out toward the next divine lord. That divine lord didn't even bother to care upon seeing an ordinary disciple attacking him. His true focus was concentrated on Baishishi, young master Changchun, and Baishishi. Hence, he simply unleashed a simple palm. Boom. The divine lord's palm slammed into Qin Feng's arm. This blow, which he had thought would blast Qin Feng apart, only ended up blasting apart Qin Feng's sleeve, revealing a treasure item arm bracer. At the same time, Chin Feng's saber landed on his neck. This was a treasure item saber that Baishishi's mother had given him, and it was incomparably sharp. As a result, a divine lord's head soared into the sky. Chapter 3158 Slaying Divine Lords What Countless People Were Shocked Chin Feng had actually severed the neck of a divine lord. It had to be known that he was nothing more than a minor character in people's eyes. After all, he had no status and he wasn't even a primal. He had put on a good show during the convention, but he wasn't classified as one of the top experts. Thus, seeing Chin Feng taking the lead, that divine lord actually thought that he was risking his life to create an opportunity for Baishishi and the others. He hadn't expected him to have such power. With that divine lord's head separated from his body, Chin Feng unleashed the second slash of his saber and blew the head apart. Everything was done in one fluid movement that didn't give the Divine Lord any chance to reconnect his head. Chin Feng's shoulder was dislocated from the impact, so he forced it back into its correct location. Even though the treasure item arm bracers had blocked most of the power, it had to be said that a Divine Lord was truly powerful. Fortunately, Chin Feng's body was so powerful after following Long Chen for so long. Someone else would have had their upper body explode even if they had those arm bracers. With this surprise, he killed a divine lord. But at this moment, another divine lord was charging at him. Dragon blood battle armor, Chin Feng roared, and scales covered his entire body. When a dragon roar resounded from his manifestation, his blood chi erupted like a volcano. He then slashed his saber at that divine lord all while emanating incomparably sharp killing intent that felt incredibly familiar. It was as if they were seeing Long Chen's shadow within Qin Feng. It wasn't just a similar aura. Even his movements, his gaze, his fearlessness, his domineeringness, they were all so similar. This is bloodline pressure. He is a primal. When Qin Feng summoned the dragon blood battle armor and his blood chi erupted, everyone was shocked. Qin Feng's saber fell. With a powerful qi wave eruption, Qin Feng was knocked back, while that divine lord's figure also shook. He blocked a real attack from a divine lord? Is this Qin Feng a monster? Seeing Qin Feng only being knocked back and coughing up blood, everyone was shocked. That was a divine lord. Just then, the void exploded and golden chains pierced through the air. That divine lord was startled, but just as he tried to move, he felt the world spinning around him. He immediately had a bad feeling. He had been on guard against Baziol's three flower pupils but hadn't expected to still fall for it. Those chains instantly bound him. Just as his head was muddled, a golden sword pierced through his head, turning his body into a golden statue. His soul wasn't even able to escape, and he fell into the sea just like that. Another divine lord was slain. The spectators that had fled into the distance stared in shock. How did the Nine Prefecture Convention devolve into a bloody battle? Kill Baziol. Someone realized that something was amiss. 
Bezaiol's three flower pupils were like a completely different existence compared to before. When he had used the three flower pupils during the competition, its power was definitely not so powerful. This kind of simple spatial power shouldn't be able to affect divine lords like this. However, after two people were conned to death by him, they realized that something was wrong. This fellow was truly sinister. He actually hadn't used his full power at the Marshall Dow Convention. In truth, they had overestimated Bezaiol. He truly had used his full abilities during the competition. But after his battle with Liao Yu Huang, perhaps it was due to the influence of the zither music. His three flower pupils were not just unleashing spatial energy. They even contained a trace of mental energy. Divine lords who didn't possess strong enough wills and weren't prepared for such a thing could be influenced by him. Normally, this kind of influence might be nothing. But in battle, it was the disturbance that caused them to lose their lives. Suddenly, the world trembled and a sword slashed through the air, tearing apart the void and unleashing divine light. A divine lord had activated a treasure item. In the hands of a divine lord, a treasure item could unleash unimaginable power. Boom. A spear stopped that sword in its tracks. Young Master Chang Chuan appeared, holding a bone spear. There was a giant rhinoceros in his manifestation staring up at the heavens with a full moon hanging in the sky. That was the specific mark of the full moon race. At this moment, silver light shrouded young Master Chang Chuan from his manifestation. It was vaguely possible to hear some ancient call from it. That divine lord was shocked and enraged. As he pressed down with his sword, he angrily shouted, Is your life forbidden area planning on interfering in this matter? Young Master Chang Chuan's arms creaked as he resisted his sword, looking like they would break at any moment. He clenched his teeth and spat out, I represent myself. Stop bringing up the life forbidden area. Just at this moment, three balls of light appeared behind that expert. It was Bezaiol's three flower pupils. Die, the expert roared, and the three balls of light shattered. At the next moment, Bezaiol screamed and held his eyes painfully. His eyes were bleeding. Ziaol, Luo Shue and the others cried out. This expert possessed strong enough mental energy to shatter Bezaiol's move as soon as it condensed. So what if you have the three flower pupils? You can't use them properly. Today, you'll all die here. It would be better for this old man to pluck those eyes out. The expert smiled sinisterly. Suddenly, he shoved with his sword, sending young master Chang Chuan stumbling back. Just as Bezaiol was injured. Five other divine lords charged over. With Bezaiol injured, there was nothing for them to fear. However, just as the expert moved, a golden sword slashed through the air with overwhelming power toward him. That expert's heart shuddered, and he hastily raised his sword to block, only to be sent flying. Flying Cloud Caves Master, Zhao Fian, you can count as an old fellow who has lived for countless years. Your cultivation base has already reached the late Divine Lord realm, yet you have the face to bully a group of babies. Was your entire cultivation base spent on cultivating this thick face of yours? Demanded Beishishi's mother, standing in his path. As soon as she said this, everyone was shocked. Many people had heard of the master of the Flying Cloud Cave, Zhao Fian, but simply didn't recognize him. He was quite famous and no one had expected him to personally come. It had to be known that most of the Divine Lords leading the groups here were only at the early Divine Lord realm. They might look old to the youngsters, but they were actually quite young compared to those old monsters. They were leading the groups to gain experience as well. However, for the Flying Cloud Caves Master to personally come and attack members of the junior generation, it was truly disdainful. Zhao Fian was about to retort when a huge explosion shook the entire battlefield. That was where Long Chen was fighting. Everyone's attention was drawn over. What? How has the martial stage reappeared? Shocked cries of disbelief rang out. Chapter 3159 Slaughter at Will the Void rumbled. The martial stage, which everyone had thought to have been destroyed, reappeared. The next moment, Long Chen and over 60 divine lords appeared on it. When they appeared on the martial stage, they were all terrified. Some of them were even shuddering in fear, but the ones outside didn't know what they were so afraid of. All those experts that were trying to kill Long Chen came to a stop. They stood there, 
struck dumb like wooden chickens. The closest divine lord to Long Chen was turned into blood mist with a single slash of the saber. After that, Long Chen's figure came out of that mist. Everyone was shocked. It seemed as if the divine lords had suddenly weakened. They weren't even able to receive a single attack from Long Chen now. What was happening? How? How can this be? Cried out one of those divine lords. Are you asking how the martial stage reappeared? Or how your cultivation bases have been suppressed to the divine flame realm? Asked Long Chen indifferently. What hearing that? People didn't dare to believe their ears. These divine lords had their cultivation bases suppressed? Everyone carefully sensed their auras. It really did seem as if the pressure of divine lords had vanished. Their cultivation bases had been suppressed to the divine flame realm? No wonder they were so terrified. Who in the divine flame realm could match Long Chen? Do you still remember the eye that appeared in front of the barrier when Ku Wu I fought Bei Shishi and I appeared in front of it? That eye is the martial stages item spirit. It is a battle spirit from ancient times but was forcibly sealed inside the martial stage. It made an agreement with me. I would destroy the martial stage. Destroying the immortal runes binding it. Returning its freedom. In exchange. It would help me once. I was originally planning on using it against stronger enemies and didn't want to waste it on foolish trash like you. Which is why I warned you. Unfortunately. You're so foolish that there's really no saving you. You actually thought that I was just trying to scare you. People like you are forever idiots. Since that's the case, don't blame Boss Long San for being merciless Long Chen suddenly began a slaughter. Those divine lords roared and resisted with their full power but were still blasted apart one by one. An ordinary slash of his saber killed over ten of those divine lords. With their cultivation bases suppressed, they appeared incredibly weak in front of Long Chen. Long Chen, don't kill us. We're willing to fight for you. We're willing to regretfully. Long Chen didn't give them any chance. None of them could stop his saber. These once high and mighty divine lords wailed like ghosts as they were killed. Some even got on their knees and begged Long Chen to spare them. But the only response was a merciless saber. Like a tiger amongst sheep. Long Chen wreaked all the other lives on the martial stage. This was no longer a battle. It was a slaughter. So many people had joined in to hunt down Long Chen. But their reprisal came quickly. In the blink of an eye, it was now Long Chen hunting them down. This sudden change left people dumbfounded. Watching as those divine lords wailed without the slightest dignity of an expert, they couldn't help feeling deeply moved. These were experts? They were still incredibly weak in the face of death. Just like what Long Chen had said. Only when his saber hacked their bodies did they know pain. Only when their lives were stripped from them would they realize how precious life was. These experts that usually held people's lives in their hands appeared even worse than those weaklings when the tables were turned on them. Ah, no, please don't kill me. No matter how they begged, Long Chen continued to kill them one by one. The martial stage was only so big, so there was nowhere for them to run. In the end, the blood of divine lords covered the martial stage. It was a stunning sight. With every divine lord that he killed, Long Chen obtained a treasure item. Those were his war spoils. When the last divine lord was slain, the martial stage shuddered and a translucent figure appeared in front of Long Chen. That figure was actually another Long Chen. Our agreement is now complete. No one owes anyone anything, said the manifestation of the martial stage. Of course, no one owes anyone anymore. However, I really must thank you. Killing those divine lords was truly refreshing. My mood is excellent. It feels like I'm once more seeing sunlight. Long Chen laughed delightedly. After that slaughter, he felt the dark energy regress. It was no longer invading his mind, and it felt like he was finally free from a prison. That beautiful feeling was truly indescribable. Long Chen felt that this ancient martial stages item spirit was a very terrifying existence. Using it to kill divine lords was truly wasteful but he had no choice but to admit that killing them was very satisfying. It was worth it to him. The manifestation of the martial stage nodded. After that, its figure slowly merged into the void, vanishing from sight. Long Chen turned back, his saber once more on his shoulder, gazing at his enemies. He sneered. The ancient martial stage has left. I've lost one trump card. If you feel like now is your best chance, 
then come. Let's see if I have any more trump cards. With the help of the martial stage, Long Chen had killed those divine lords like killing chickens. He shook everyone. Those were divine lords. The cornerstones of any sect they were killed just like this? Who wouldn't be afraid? Long Chen's trump cards kept coming out endlessly. Ignoring the power he took out while fighting Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuya. Just how terrifying was that original true feather that had completely blocked off the power of a world king like Imputa? Just how terrifying was it that he could kill Imputa's most cherished disciple right in front of him? Then he even used the martial stage's item spirit after breaking it free of its restrictions, slaying a pile of divine lords. These methods were truly stunning. Now he was covered in blood, and his robes were ruined. His appearance could be said to be a bit wretched but it appeared incredibly wild and domineering. Most of that blood on his body belonged to divine lords. It slowly dripped down on him in an astonishing sight. In the face of Long Chen's icily arrogant gaze, those divine lords didn't dare to even move. They were afraid of a single divine flame disciple. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and dragon scales covered his body. His divine flames instantly ignited, as his wild aura erupted. He slashed his saber behind him. That space exploded, revealing a figure with a dagger in hand. A Divine Lord Assassin from the Bloodkill Hall. Chapter 3160 Silver Moon City's Lord The Divine Lord Assassin of the Bloodkill Hall had tried to sneak attack Long Chen, only to be instantly seen through by him. He forced the assassin out of concealment. As a result, the assassin coughed up a mouthful of blood, and his mask was destroyed revealing an elderly face. Even a divine lord was unable to resist Long Chen's power, especially when the former hadn't been accumulating power beforehand. The assassin was shocked. Long Chen's blow had not just destroyed his internal organs, but it had also shaken his divine energy, throwing it into chaos. It could essentially be said that he had temporarily lost his cultivation base. Long Chen unleashed a palm at that assassin, only for the void behind him to twist. After that, seven new figures appeared. There were seven more assassins from the Bloodkill Hall, and seven streaks of divine light shot toward him. Long Chen snorted and swung his saber behind him. He then continued to strike the first assassin with his left hand. Boom. The first assassin was blasted apart by his palm. As for the seven attacks coming behind him, they struck his saber, resulting in him stumbling forward. The seven of them also stumbled back. One of them crushed a formation disc, and the void rumbled. The next moment, a transportation formation appeared along with countless black-robed masked figures. Thousands of Bloodkill Hall experts poured out, charging at Long Chen. Amongst them were four peak experts, as well as divine flame experts. HMPH, is the Bloodkill Hall preparing to have the whole nest come out? Good, then let's fight until we're happy, Long Chen sneered. His saber danced through the air. Wherever his saber went, death followed. However, these assassins were fearless, and even as they were continuously cut down, they continued to charge out. After killing and killing, Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. This was wrong. These people were intentionally sending themselves to their deaths. After they died, their essence blood and soul energy condensed in the air. He had a bad feeling, although he didn't know what they were up to. It definitely wasn't something good. Just as he got a bad feeling and was preparing to switch fighting styles, countless mirrors appeared in the void. Blood Chi instantly condensed on top of them, and they shot out rays of divine light that linked into a giant web trapping Long Chen. Feeling startled, Long Chen swung his saber at one of those lights. With a huge explosion, the earth shook, but the light was like a sturdy chain. He couldn't break it. Long Chen repeatedly slashed his saber, causing space to continuously shake. However, that divine light stopped his saber. He was trapped. It's useless. Our blood kill hall's special blood soul barrier uses our blood and souls to link to the great god's divine statue. This light contains the killing god's divinity, and no one can break it. Sinner who dared to blaspheme the killing god. Just wait. The killing god's clone will soon descend. Your judgment is coming. One of those assassins looked at Long Chen coldly. Now that Long Chen was trapped, they all stopped attacking. They surrounded their net, chanting some scripture. The spatial gate that they opened began to transform. 
At this moment, strange marks appeared on it, and an aura that made people's hearts quake came from the other side. Long Chen's heart also pounded in his ears. You killed Ji Yui Yan, enraging the killing god. He has ordered us to use our lives to open a path to summon his divine statue. At that time, the killing god will use the divine statue as a vector for his descent. What awaits you is only death. Repent in your despair to atone for your sins. The runes on the transportation formation were quickly condensed, and a statue slowly appeared. It was Imputa's statue. Seeing Long Chen trapped, Bei Shishi's mother tried to go help him, but she was blocked by the Flying Cloud Cave's master. Your opponent is me. Ha ha ha. I really wish to see Imputa's clone descend. Just how will you endure his wrath? He laughed. Bei Shishi's mother snorted and slowly formed hand seals with her left hand. However, just then, for some reason, she stopped and continued fighting her opponent with her sword. With Long Chen trapped, those divine lords that had temporarily stopped once more bounced on Bei Shishi and the others. Bei Shishi was fighting alongside young master Chang Chuan, Qin Feng, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, Luo Bing, and the others. Bei Shishi and young master Chang Chuan both possessed the power to fight divine lords, especially Bei Shishi. Her primal bloodline had fully woken, and none of her power was leaking any longer. The might of her sword was something even divine lords had to go all out just to block. They were fighting four divine lords together. They wanted to quickly kill these people and go assist Long Chen. As long as they could kill one of the few divine lords from the blood kill hall that were the main pillars of that formation, they could create an opening for Long Chen to escape. However, the four divine lords that they were fighting were being extremely cautious. They were now stalling for time, waiting for Imputa to descend. That made Bei Shishi and the others even more anxious. Bastards. Why can Long Chen kill them as easily as chickens? But it's such an effort for us. Lu Mingxuan attempted several direct blows but wasn't able to gain any advantage. On the other hand, her own blood chi was shaken, infuriating her. King Gaian, Qin Feng suddenly shouted. After that, his blood chi erupted, and he slashed his saber at one of the Divine Lord's weapons. This saber contained his full power, and it broke that Divine Lord's arm, startling him. Just then, a sharp sword light flashed and cut that Divine Lord in two. Not even his Yuan spirit could escape Novaloon.com Mu King Gaian had been protecting Bei Ziaol after he lost the power of his eyes, so no one had been paying attention to her. But as soon as Qin Feng fought for an opportunity for her, she didn't disappoint him. Kill. With one of the four divine lords slain, Bei Shishi and the others were reinvigorated, while the three divine lords panicked. Immediately, one of them was forced back by Bei Shishi's sword, and young master Chang Chuan took the chance to pierce his chest with his bone spear. That person screamed and fled. The remaining two divine lords also didn't dare to continue trying to block them, and they fled. Bei Shishi and the others were delighted. However, just as they stepped toward the formation, an icy-faced elder with a wooden cane in his hand blocked their path. Silver Moon City's Lord. Upon seeing that elder, countless people's hearts thudded. 